All righty. All right, when we left our characters, they had narrowly emerged from a dangerous fight with a pair of banshees. Unfortunately, not all of their members had uh, survived, and Alki had been slain. However, resurrected as a creature of living wood, uh, he lives once more, but at the cost of the um, at the cost of the acorn they were sent to find. All right, um, I did not move you over to the right spot, and we will do that. Here we go. Oh wait, is this it? You did not hold on. I'm having a little trouble with this thing. Hey, King, hey, King. what's up? <laughs> King, I'm wood. Can you fix me? <laughs> Put that finger inside. Oh my god. There we go. Alright. You are um, standing over your newly resurrected friend, Alki. Uh, the tents are currently on fire and spirits lurk at the sh uh, peering out of the shadows at you. Uh, what would you like to do you guys well, just want to run, or do you want to try to explore more? Well, we made it this far. Let's get that chest at the bottom. Let me yeah. heal up first. I have some second level spells, so I could do a little bit of healing. Did we ever... Oh, yeah. We opened up the chest up top, but that's the three boys came out, right? Yeah. The bottom <laughs> chest is the only one that's left. Yeah. But... Isn't there another fucking banshee? No, we killed it. No, yeah. it's just regular uh, thingies down. Let me, um... So, my character sheet's, like, messed up, I think. What's up? Uh, so all I see is abilities, attributes. I don't see, uh, like, my bag or... I've got your bag. I picked it off you before we could you. Okay, here. here we go. Never mind, I figured it Okay. So, with you being up and alive now, I'm just going to hand you Betsy back. Thank you. <laughs> Betsy, my boy, dude. The good thing now is that I think Betsy won't eat me because I'm wood. I'm not human. But I mean, you're still alive. I don't feel alive. I feel like a fucking acorn. <laughs> well, you guys are getting a chest. I'm going to drink a health potion. Sure. Remember, we actually gave you a healing potion button, so you can just click that. And it'll tell you how much. Okay, so healing potion. I don't think I have any healing on me. I used it all. Yeah. Did that work? Yep. Ooh, that's neat. I uh, turned to Dolmir. What do you want to do about the chest? I'm gonna drink another one. I got all down there. How do you feel? Huh? I'm alright. As long as there's no more goddamn banshees, I should be fine. Hey, Alki, okay, uh, do you have any extras? No, I got one left, and I think I'm probably gonna need it later on. It's fine. Once we get through this, we'll be done. We can go back to town. Did you uh, put the eight on that too? Um... Yep. I'm gonna drink another one. Can I uh, examine the statue in the middle of the courtyard? Sure. I'll roll. Give me a second. I gotta remember the skills again. Uh, probably history. All right. Uh, you can tell the statue is of a beholder. Um, you don't remember anything particularly being related to Selgard. You suspect it was just uh, some sort of decorative art. I wonder if that, if that was just decorative art. Why they decided to have it here. Is the fountain still, like, functioning? Um, 
water trickles from it, suspect is suggesting that the pipes are still connected, but there's likely been blockages over the years. I say just go. I ready in action to cast a plasma if one of them attack Dolmir. Or anybody. Not just Dolmir. Alright, uh let's get let's go ahead and roll initiative. Okay, so how do you you click on your character first? Mm-hmm. That's an impressive initiative, Natsu. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Roll to confirm? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Roll to confirm initiative, Bumble. <laughs> I don't remember if we, uh, I don't remember if we did roll to confirm crits on initiative. I think we did. Yeah, I think it's we just... Did. We did. Last time, I think they attacked right away, and then they're also first in the turn order. It's like a extra meme. Just sort. Jim, would you like to do anything? Yeah, I'll sacred flame the one next to the chest in front. Uh, the flame passes through the spirit without harm. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to just ready action. Um, if they attack um, Gene or uh, Domir, that uh, I'll be. Sure. So, true. you're just ready in your plasma. Um, since Gene already went for it, I'm going to hit that one in the back with the plasma. Sure. Plasma passes through the spirit without injury. Damn, those the are spirit high briefly roll. shimmers. Dolmir. Uh oh. Which one shimmered? I'm gonna move right there and attack. I do two, not right, if I remember right. Yep, two attacks. <laughs> it's been too long. Uh, they both connect on the spirit, and it seems to be visibly wounded. Natsu? <sighs> I'm going to attack the spirit. Uh, the spirit uh, slowly fades out. That's my turn. The other spirit watches you saying nothing. And doing nothing. Jean? Um, are those the only spirits that have noticed us? Or done anything? They're, yeah, they're only two. The only the two by the chest. This one it seems to just yeah. be... I'm gonna move here and be. And what? Be done? Yeah. Alright. Okay. I'm just gonna move closer and just get ready just in case uh, it attacks one of the two. It seems like it doesn't wanna fight us for some. So true. Same thing, I'm going to move up, uh, ready in action in case the spirit attacks us. Sure. Heavy? Can I use my helmet telepathy on him and try and communicate? Uh, yes, as soon as I take a look at what helmet telepathy does again. <laughs> I need to look up um, a sorcerer thing. Like what levels Detect I get thoughts. sorcerer shit. Uh, you can choose to focus your mind on day one creature has an intelligence to speak language. 
Yep. Okay. So, um, the spirit you are, um, you get an overwhelming sense of longing and uh, sadness. Um, are you going to probe deeper? Sure. Um, you see that the spirit is the, um, you, in a series of pictures, you see that the spirit is a citizen of, uh, mm. Selgard, who had been killed long ago, um, in the initial sack of the city. Um, over time, uh, it, it was brought back as a spirit, um, and sits here, uh, the sun, the sun hurts it, um, and it's, uh, there's it just gets a ever growing hunger for um more living flesh um and it it's it's afraid of you um it saw its comrade killed and um is terrified that you'll kill it 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 knows it will come back it's come back many times but everything still hurts cool Interesting. That would have been nice to know. So now I kind of figure that they disappear because they're scared. Kind of. No, they disappear because you killed them, but when their curse comes back, they, they reap. We, Nick, I understand the shimmer effect now. Kind of. Right? So, from just what Siv has said, well, I'll explain later. Still my turn, right? Or uh, I took your action, so you still have movement, but you don't have anything else. Unless okay. you want action surge. I don't remember if you have that uh, one. No, I don't. I'm just going to move closer to the chest. All right. I'm going to just move the spirit out of the way so you can still see you, because it's dead. It doesn't really matter. Or sorry, I just skipped over Natsu. Natsu, what would you like to do? Can I move there? Sure. Can I grab the chest and take it with us? Are you just picking it up? Um. Yeah, sure. Uh, strength check. Solid. Sure. You now have a chest. Um, I'll move it with you unless. Move it into the anything. sun, Natsu, so we get open. It. Just in case there's more spirits. Spirits just chilling. Gene. I'll. Oh. Back up, I guess. Yeah, okay. Um, so I have a question. Sure. Since I was taught the traits from the one people that uh for lock pick picking, do I so still know it as guy. a wharf? Do I still get that bonus for opening? Um, I believe I believe I removed it. Um, I think it was all. I think it was partially. Like you have like magical augmentation and stuff. So I, I I think I I think the way I ruled is I just moved every. I you lost every um, mark of warding dwarf racial and now you have every warforged racial. Okay. Ooh, so you, you no longer get your D four for opening. The dude. Um. Do I still have the higher doing, uh, opening skill for? Uh... You still have all your proficiencies. All the only thing I removed was anything that is directly tied to Mark of Warding Dwarf. Okay, so what's what what do, is the open dexterity? Uh, I believe it's a sleight of hand. To to pick a lock is sleight of hand. Um, yeah, just a sleight of hand check. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to Whew. see if the chest is open and That's if it's, a if it's locked. I'm gonna <laughs> use a sleight of. <laughs> Okay. I love the roommate core. So you're gonna attempt to open the chest? Yes. Chest is unlocked. Make a wisdom save. Fucking god, the last thing I Okay. Fucking <laughs> there we go. Uh, all right. Smart. Um, oh man. You you briefly see something you briefly feel something try to assault your mind, but uh you see, you appear unaffected. Um inside the chest you find a pair of bracers. Um, can I tell what kind of material the bracers Another are made one? out? Dang, dude. Uh, they're made out of leather. They seem to glow with some magic. 
I'm can I, I'm gonna take the bracers. Is there anything else in the chest? There is not. Okay. All right. Can we go now? I fucking yeah, hate the undead now. <laughs> I want to get out of its place. Try to get I myself agree. back to normal. All right. Um, we're we probably don't need to proceed in turn, or you have thoroughly scared most of the ghosts in the region. Is this passage on fire, or is it only up until, like, this wall of... Uh, uh the fire tents? has gone out. Okay. So, do you guys want to go back the way we came, or do you want to go this way? It looks like we might have to crawl Let's over this thing. just go the way thing. we came. Okay. We've got a proven area. Let's just go that way. Sounds like a plan. What, what, what's I'll the weight the on these bracers? It's it's a rest, I think. Anyway, let's just get back to town. Uh, Alki, you and uh, Natsu try and stay towards the back. I'll stay in. Oh, they may not have a weight. Weirdly. Ooh, interesting. Okay, I just put one just to give it some. One certainly fine. Oh, wait. I thought you meant wait as in wait for the fucking... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's just go. This chest was emptied, right? Yes. It yeah. Is all that dark. was Alki running into the fire. Yeah. The spirits turn to watch you, but make no effort to follow you. Rawr, I yell. <laughs> the, the spirits stand, stare at you, not understanding. Fucking ghost. <laughs> Be ready for anything that waits us back in the town. I don't think that's... God. Didn't we come this way? Yeah. Yep. Alright. You emerge from the marketplace and return once more to the city streets of Selgard. Domir, you want to fly? Hold on, I'm trying to get my map right. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to go here. Or whatever. And I'm going to take some bones from this guy. Mm. Is that a mouse? A mouse? What? Oh, yeah, it's, it's a, a dead mouse. rat. Yeah, uh, we haven't fought one before, so let's stay away. Yeah, uh, Gene, you now uh, make a... Hmm. I'm trying to think what would be appropriate for trying to dismember a corpse. And we Strength. punch it in the powder. <laughs> yeah, I, you, you get, you now have some bones. I'm not on the board, by the way. Oh, did I not generate an alky? Oh, okay. Probably because I had to Sorry, delete the existing here. token. He might not have been here. There he I go. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I probably have a bunch of old tokens in various zones anyway, so I'll have I'll probably have to replace them as time goes on. Ooh, it's a PNG. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, I'll fly if we have the spell. Alright. be faster. I, uh, touch your arm and cast fly. I'm gonna pick Jean up and put her on the roof. Give me one second. There's a ladder right here. But flying is cooler. Alright, you're good. Yeah, I mean, there's a ladder there. You guys, I'm not going to try and do fucking strength checks. Yeah, I mean, you're not in combat, so there's no time pressure. Yeah. I you grab the ladder. Be no careful. fucking more ladders on the roof. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got flying, so I can just pick us up and move them. Yeah. So let's just make our way towards the edge and get out of this town. Are we going back to the chapel first or we on the road? Don't need to. Need... I don't think uh, we need to go to the chapel. Okay. Let's, can we can we go to the chapel so we could heal and just get recuperated right. before we go we back can go on the road? Right outside and go right to the first town. Okay. Why, why risk going through all this shit? 
when we can go right out. I mean, it's literally a few moves away. I don't remember how far away the nearest town is, like day journey wise. Uh, it shouldn't be that long, I don't think. Oh, you know, we could take a, a rest look. before we. Once we get out of town, we could take a long rest and then go because we haven't taken a long rest yet. Yeah. Okay, so let's just get out of here yeah. then. Go camping, you know, shit. Mm hmm. Anyway, uh, let's move over. And then once we get to the edge, I'll fly us. Natsu, do you have a ladder? You told me not to grab it. Just making sure. You can you can stay with us, buddy. Yeah, I didn't know if you had the ladder and you're just keeping distance. So you want to sneak right, so across and? I'm gonna pick Jean up and set her on the roof. Not that way. Where? Over there, I'm guessing. Yeah, I want to head that way. We'll get on this big roof over here. Okay. Then, um, Citra's next. Do I gotta do a strength check there? Nope. Again, you're not under any pressure, so I don't... I, I generally call for checks when there's... It matters whether you... Like, if you fail, you're just gonna do it again. And, like, gotcha. fly is gonna take ten minutes. So, like, there's... You guys should have plenty of time to get wherever you need to go. The only time Sounds it's gonna matter good. is if you're in combat. Alright, so Citra, then Alki... Then that's it. Alright, we can use the bridges for now. Just keep going. Are you going that way, or are we going well, this way? Well, there's more, more connected this way. But, I mean, we could just take this little pathway down right here. You are absolutely correct. Let's go that way. Yeah. Do you want to scout it out up top, Vilmir? Yeah, yeah, let me fly a couple of houses in front. Do I see anything? I mean, we could just fight our way out of that. Oh, God. You said stealth, right? Yep. At least that's almost near the entrance, so. Flying plate armor is probably not that stealthy. Well, he is the Mithril, so. Mithril. Yeah, Mithril's actually pretty quiet. Alright, you're fine. I point to the can bigger I, house. With the... Can I fly up and take a look? Even. Yeah, sure. You fly up. You see lots of things. You see things over here. You see things over here. Perfect. See. I'm going to run back and talk to people. Sure. Alright, so... I think once we get past this group in the main street here, we drop down. We're going to fight a few things and then make our way out. But it'd probably be better to drop down into the street around over here. Everyone yeah, we're good? about to be sniping. Yep. Do you That's feel good. it would be smart to kill the birds first on the roof? Kite them over here and then uh, then we could just kill the zombies? Because if you drop down, you're going to get birds and zombies oh, and yeah, dogs. Oh yeah, that would be a good idea. I mean... Let's see. How long's a bow? Like 150 feet, so seven or er, 30 it's a squares. Lot. Yeah. I mean, shit. Me and Gene can shoot the fucking one bow, the one crow. I can use subtle spell as well. I have all my sorcery points, so I can silently snipe them. Well, let's do that. Draw them that way, and then we can just fly over and then drop down, and hopefully. It's we just drop down and start walking. I asked Omir to pick me up and put me on this roof over here. Uh, I'm going to actually move everyone over there to this roof. Okay. Go ahead. Can I actually drop Alki myself? Well, can I just drop everyone down into the uh, streets? Sure. Or wait, do you guys want to? What do you guys want to kill do? the birds? I, I yeah. Let's kill the birds and then drop down and we'll kill whatever's in the street that we need to. Yep. 
I'm gonna ready action that if the when the birds do come over here that I'll Which one do you want me to attack first the closer one? Yeah, attack the closer one see if the other one comes or we might not even have to get the Gene, do you, me, and Domir all want to attack the same one at the same time? Hopefully we can one-shot it quietly. Sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to prepare a... Well, person. wait. Well, Do you want me to hit it with the bow? Yes. Or with the radi sacred flame? Because the sacred, the sacred flame will flame. make it skip its... Uh, oh, that's true. You, sacred flame. Is sacred flame I don't want to. I don't want to draw a bow if I don't have to. Okay. It's fire. Or, I mean, it, well, radiant. So, like, it's kind of, like, bright. But I don't think it's loud necessarily. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess both of our spells are loud. Mine's fucking, or not loud, but bright. Mine's plasma. Eh. All right, you guys are preparing a sneak attack, so you can organize yourself in turn or however you want to. Okay. I will be after Citra and Jean. Okay. Because I just I want to not draw my bow if I don't have to, so I can have my sword and, or my shield and. Uh... Okay. I'll, I'll be. I'll be uh, last. Just if there's anything left, I could just use a. Uh, I'll use a key and kill whatever's around. All right. Me and Gene will attack that one crow at the same time and hopefully insta give it. All right, you ready? All right. Gene. Oh, I'm first. Well, we're gonna attack at the same time. Are you ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm going to use a subtle spell. Shit, hold on. Here we go. A subtle spell plasma. Sure. Gene's up first. You got a sacred flame, Gene? I didn't want to be first, but okay. Uh, your sacred flame messes. Nice. Citro. Plasma connects. Bird disintegrates. Thank God. Can you guys reach the other bird? Don't need to attack it if it's not gonna attack us. We can, but yeah, we'll wait. Alright, what would you like to do, Dolmer? I'd like to fly everyone over to there. Sure. As you're doing so, you do attract the attention of the zombies below. They shamble over, but uh, can't climb or haven't figured out the concept of ladders, at least. <laughs> Can we j oh. jump down and run out of the city? Can um, you fly just like 30 feet out? Yeah, there's no reason you can't fly beyond the borders of the city. Like, oh, I'd like I, I don't have any way of displaying that. All right, you are now out of the city. Okay. Um, okay. I don't have anything for the outskirts, so... You guys, you are not currently under attack by zombies. The undead limit themselves to the cell guard limits. And, yeah. You okay. guys want to take a rest before we get moving? Uh, yes. Did, have... did we gain any experience by any chance from all that stuff we did? I'm sure we'll figure it out once we do something. Yeah. Um, how far away is the nearest town? Can we get there before nightfall? Hey, I'll keep catching those clubs. Um... Kaldos is about a day's ride, so you'd probably be spending the night somewhere else. Okay. Let's yeah, uh, ride it. until, like, five-ish, and then we can set up camp. Agree. Sure. Oh, yeah. So, yep. Bring up that beautiful world map. <clears throat> <laughs> yes! You're up here. So, we're camping right now, right? Yeah, I think we're yeah. like here ish. Yeah, yeah that sounds that makes sense. I mean, honestly, you're probably more like there ish, but. Oh, okay. Alright, so while we're camping, I'd like to talk to everyone. Okay, what's up, buddy? So, obviously, we fucked up on the ring because of my part. Um, I'd like to apologize for that. But uh, I think we still, the only quest that we still have is for Jean's robe. 
I think she's gotten everything she needs for that, so we should probably go to North Pass first, right? No, those are Kaldos. Kaldos, my bad. So we'll stop in Kaldos, get that situated, and then I guess head back to East Pass and see what the adventures are. I... I... What happened with the ring can't be undone now. Like, we, you know, what we did, we have to live with. But what are we going to tell Sir Hugo? I'm going to tell him the truth. I, I thought that it was a ring that turned people undead when it obviously wasn't. And I just misunderstood. And it'd be my, my fault to bear. No one else. Are you, are you comfortable carrying that burden? Just tell Sir I Hugo mean, we, um, that I died and we had to leave. Don't he doesn't even need no. to know that we gave the ring back. Look, I'm an I'm a, mercenary. I, I, I'll tell him the truth. I've, I'm a fucking tree. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure it out for you, Elky. I that. can't drink. <laughs> my life's a bore. I'm gonna have to explain to my order that I didn't get the acorn. Fuck your acorn. I mean, you're alive. If there was a tree around, I would hang myself, but I don't think that would do anything, because I don't even need to breathe! <laughs> I put my I'm hand sure on... I'm sure find something for you to get you to drink. I put my hand on Aki's shoulder. It will get better. No, it won't. I'm a fucking tree. Are we, uh, like, camped by the river or on the road? Uh, you can be by the river if you'd like. Um, there is no road out there. Or certainly, it's not one of the, like, the big roads. Okay. Probably a destroyed road. Yeah, I mean, there'll be, there'll be paths, but, I mean, it's been, like, thousands of years. Right. Am I gonna have to take away people's drawing privileges? <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so with that, I'm going to update my character sheet real quick. Alright, if you guys want to take, I mean, I was going to push you guys to 7 when you get back to the Adventurer's Guild. If you want to do that now, that's fine. Oh, I was just updating my, like, action surge and shit. Oh yeah, you, you guys have the benefits of a long rest, so feel oh, free okay. to fix all that shit. <sighs> Thank fuck. So my health is 40 now? Yeah, okay. And then I should be back to full health, right? Uh, yeah, everyone's back to full health. You get half your hit dice back, and uh, whatever resources you spent mm -hmm. going, everyone's back on sp spell slot. Okay. Uh, also, you because you've taken at least two short rests, or you've taken at least a short rest, we get to learn about all the magic items. Who's got magic items that they've been holding on i do i have a pickaxe magic all right that is a war pick plus one a war pick Ooh, that's neat does that count as like a heavy weapon um it's a it's i believe it's just a standard weapon uh let okay. me double check what a war pick does but it's it's a it's a standard weapon type it, it's approximately equivalent to a battle anybody want this I uh, mean, I mean, heavy probably does. Yeah. Uh, one d eight piercing, is the uh, and it's a martial weapon. Oh, it's right, a I'll martial weapon, so I could use it. No, the marshals are the ones you can't use. Use symbols. Uh, I can't use it. I don't think I can channel my magic through it effectively. I mean, I can use it. So what's it do? Uh, one d eight piercing. Play the one-handed weapon. Some shit on the mic. Heavy, you want it? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, so I hand him the war pick plus one. Here. I also have magic bracers. The magic bracers are bracers of defense. Ooh. Okay. 
Nice. That is, so that is, while wearing these bracers, you get a plus two bonus to AC if you are wearing no armor and using no shield. Oh, hey, sir. And they do require attunement, but I don't think Alk is attuned to anything else at the moment. No, unless that ring of water walking is. Can I trouble someone to update the nope. fucking damage thing for me? Because it's been so long I forgot how to do it for the battle act or the pick. So is that considered me being unarmored? The bracers of defense? Yeah, the, the the whole point is you can't be wearing other you can't be wearing armor, which you never do because of your unarmored defense, and your um you don't wear a shield, so you you'll get the benefit of that, and it won't affect your unarmored defense. Mm -hmm. What do you want me to do, Dolmir? You just want me to write a new entry for the war pick? Yeah, I uh, yeah, it should be the same as a battle axe, right? But plus one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think I can do that. I finally figured it out. Okay, so how do I equip this bracer as a defense? Can you oh, do that for me? It keeps disappearing. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna... I was doing Heavy's thing. It's... Yeah, you do that, and I will fix, uh... Okay. Hmm... <laughs> I mean, you basically had it. You just click the little equip thing just for your own your own reminder. And um, uh, yep. I just manually updated your ace. Oh, you did the... Uh, okay, you got a war pick on already down there. Okay. Yeah, I was starting to do it, and then you said you were. So did you get, get it, or do I get to finish it? I can get it. All right. Didn't somebody get a ring too? I mean, someone got a, someone had a amulet, I think, didn't they? Yeah, from the top Not chest. To. Yeah, I got the amulet. That. So that is something called an insignia of claws. Ooh. What does it do? do? Um, while wearing the insignia, you get a plus one bonus to the attack rolls and the damage rolls you make with unarmed strikes and natural weapons. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Not to. Sounds... You want to hand that over to me? <laughs> Not really, but I will. <laughs> well, when I die, you can take one of my two acorns. You can pick which one you want. It's down below my waist. You can figure out which one, what I'm talking about. Man, all the... Bitching, he did. I feel like he got really lucky this one. Yeah. He might have died. I am pretty much a tree. Don't even go there, Domir. <laughs> okay, guys, always just bitching about shit, though. Know. If you're within 10 yards of me, I can protect you from all spells. All? All of them. Does you have resistance. Does it affect how we cast? Nope, just enemies. Okay. So what was the name of the amulet so I could add it? Uh, Insignia of Claws. <laughs> um, are we doing uh, level updates now? We should probably do that. Huh? Yeah, we can do is that there, real quick. Is there a wait? Uh, no, it's no. Okay. And it doesn't appear to require attunement either, so, you know. So that. we're doing level upgrades? Yep. Um, I'm going to do Alki first, just because I'm already on his character sheet. So I wrote it, but I don't know how fucking... Um... I've already updated your unarmed strikes to okay. take that into account. Alright, so first of all, we're going to give you an extra 5 plus con mod, so that's another 6 hit. I hit this. And then we are giving you, you have evasion now. So uh, when you're subjected to an effect that allows you to make a dexterity saving throw to take only half damage, you instead take no damage if you succeed and half damage if you fall. Solid. Is that like a passive pretty much? Yep. It just makes your dex save is better basically. Okay. Okay. 
Oh yeah. Sweet. I know one more spell? Yes. I know one more spell. Um, is there anything else? Yep. Starting at 7th level, you can use your action to end one effect on yourself that is causing you to be charmed or frightened. And I believe you go up, yep, you go up to 7 key point. <laughs> um, so you still have that, still have that, and that's it. Find a good I think real quick. Does um anything else go up like decks or anything? Or nope. You get your uh, your next ASI is at eight. Okay. All right. Heavy. Blink. Uh yeah. Okay. So we're gonna give you six plus con mod. So six plus five, you get another eleven hit. All right, we go up to seven hit dice. Um, so class features, you get you get something for your martial archetype. So that is Battlemaster. So at seventh level, so if you spend at least one minute observing and interacting with another creature outside combat, you can learn certain information about its capabilities compared to your own. The DM tells you if your creature is your equal, superior, or inferior in regard of two of the following characteristics of your choice. Strength score, deck score, con score, armor class, current hit points, total levels, if any, or fighter levels, if any. Okay. I'm trying to think what Do I, I also do. get two uh, maneuvers? I'm taking a second. I'm taking a. Okay, so yes, you learn two additional maneuvers of your choice, mm. and they also say each time you learn new maneuvers, you can replace one maneuver you know. Um, you, um, if you want to do that any level, I'm fine with you swapping one out. Like I don't want you to just not feel like you're not using your class features. You also get an additional maneuver, like you get another superiority dice, so you're up to five now. Okay. Right. Um, I would like to put repost and pair. Sure. Um, while you do everyone else's, I'm going to look to see if, because I'm going to uh, swap out sweeping attack, because it's not what I thought it would be. And then um, I'll let you know while you're upgrading everyone. If that's all right. That's fine. Ah, uh, what do you guys think? Should I take Blink or a spell that I made up called Bind? All right, that's that. Binds the target uh, with lightning. The next time they make a spell you. cast in the next eight turns, uh, they take 1d4 so. damage and must make oh, an intelligent okay. saving throw. Uh, let's go to... Okay. Okay. I misclicked. I've updated my hit dice and class resources, just not my health. Elf. Okay, I'll add that. So you get a four plus con mod, so you get another six. And you've updated your class features. Um, you so we talked about, since I have literally never used Distant Spell this entire time I've had it, can I swap that for Twinned and then I'll get Distant next level as my uh, actual sorcery point yep. thing? That's fine. If you, if again, if you guys want to like, if you've got things where there's like a bunch of stuff and you have to make a choice and you feel like you're not using it, I'm, I think I'm generally okay. Just like make sure you tell me that you're doing that. Um, if it gets like too mid maxi, I'll worry about it then. But you, absolutely, you can swap one out. And then you get another, looks like you get another spell known. And then you get your first fourth level spell. Correct. Um, I think I'm going to take that one spell, the custom one, bind. I basically have a choice between that or Blink. Uh... Alright. That works. Uh, Natsu, let me just make sure I at least know. I noticed you already had most of your stuff. Alright, so I have to... If I should be able to like drag it over, right? Alright, so you've updated your health, yes? Yes. 
Okay, you get another second level slot. That doesn't really matter. And you're getting the resistance aura thing, Dang right? It. Yep. Cool. That's within 10 feet. All right. Yep. Twins. Maybe we should uh, update you. Maybe we should update your token with an aura. That might be worth doing. Yeah, because I got two auras going now. One of protection and one of warden. Yeah, and I'm sure we're I'm sure we're not remembering to make those mm -hmm. to get those bonuses for saves. Um your your lay on hands pool goes up by five too, right? Oh yep. Cool. Alright, so that's that. And Gene. Done. You're taking rogue two. Distant. All right, so you've got your health updated. This isn't much for just for me. Um, so you're taking, you've got cunning action. Sneak attack is still 1d6. Perfect. Cool. So she gets a bonus action that lets her dash, disengage, or hide. It's quite nice. All right, is there anything else um, before we move on? I'm swapping out, uh, t sweeping to disarming attack, just so you know. Okay, cool. And every time, just, I don't know if it's right or not, but every time I do repost, it updates it itself, and it's got a plus seven attack onto it, which doesn't spell. sound. Is that the weapon? Oh, I see what it's doing. Got yeah, it's, it's, it's your proficiency. My... Yeah, go ahead. It's your proficiency bonus plus your strength mod. So your gotcha. proficiency bonus is three and your strength mod is four. So I think that makes sense. Yeah, it, it took a second. It's been a while. Yeah, be aware the complaint that I don't put you up against spellcasters is something that I already know about. Yeah. So just, you know, there are no, there are non-zero mouse spellcasters in your future. I think it would go bind. But Blink is so good. As of right now, I have no, um, what is it? No fifth level spells plan to be learned, so I'll have a fifth level spell slot. But the only thing I'll use it for is upcasting. Um, so I'm gonna take probably two fourth level spells and no fifth level spells. That was a big fire. All right, so new quest. <laughs> Oh god. So Alright. The dawn rises and you return to Kaldos. And because I actually have this, you are gonna go to a town. Oh boy, we're gonna go to a tavern. Alright, hold on. In action. Forget if I put a range on it. All right, this is, I don't know why I haven't had this problem before, but I'm having it now. I had to build custom CSS to make this thing uh, work reasonably well with large numbers of, ooh, that's not good. <laughs> yes, sir, in Jack's Villa. Why are you doing this? <laughs> I feel like I've been here before. You haven't, it's a lie. <laughs> I didn't know we were back in Pillar. Gene, what have you been mailing? I don't think I've been here. No, you were at the ball. 1d4. And yeah, I've been talking lots to, um... I... Her spell. She helped us with the... 
undead ethereal thing. Yo. She's got lots of nice things to say. Actually, no. We'll do a 1d4. But no, after using the uh, helmet earlier, so what I got from from it was that, you know, once they saw us kill one of them, they were scared and they'd go into the ethereal plane. That's why we weren't killing it. That's oh. why we couldn't attack them. Come on. This is ridiculous. Maybe you should do your help go. with the virus. I didn't spawn any of you guys in, so you can't see shit. All right. Correct. You arrive at the one of the better known taverns of uh, uh, Kaldos, uh, Kald the Mage Pits. What are we doing yeah, here again? Just resting? No, no, you're in Kaldos. I just figured I'm gonna... If you guys are in a city, I'm not gonna build, like, a bunch of custom areas for this stuff, so um, we'll just throw you in the tavern and you can figure out what you want to do from here. At least it's something to look Fantastic. We, we talked about wanting um, downtime, right? I delete Alki? I think I deleted Alki. Give me a drink, no, I'm at up, the bar. up with the bar. You can't drink. I'm gonna try. Certainly, sir. What would sir like? Sir would like the strongest thing you have behind there. Oh, uh, that would be whiskey. You got anything stronger, like, cleaning solutions? Um... No, the baby. <laughs> we use those. magical clean. Um... Would sir like a bottle of furniture polish yeah give him that what's the alcohol content on that furniture polish um none I'll, I'll i'll try it yeah i'll take a bottle all right that'll be a silver i suppose he sets a bottle in front of you it smells like um lemon i pick up the bottle and start walking around i um, try to start order drinking drink. it there yes, miss, go. what would you like? The strongest thing you have. That would be whiskey. <laughs> then... I'll have that. <laughs> Alright. He briefly he goes to the back and returns with a uh, uh, bug that he sets down in front of you. Here you are, miss. Two so Wow. This shit tastes thing. like lemons. Mug of whiskey? <laughs> Sure, thanks. I'll just take some fucking mead. Mead, sir. Of course. I walk up behind uh, Delmir. Me as well. Give me a second. I, I'm gonna make sure I have numbers right. Okay, so ale would be four copper pieces. I feel like, yeah, for a mug of whiskey, that seems about reasonable. I'm just curious what the hell a mug of whiskey is. A mug full of whiskey, I would assume. Almost a bottle of whiskey. Uh, mead will be a silver. Here's two. Also, I'm mildly surprised he served me. But it's all good. <laughs> this, is, this is Dungeons and Dragons. They don't have underage drinking laws. <laughs> The threshold for whether or not you're allowed to drink is whether or not you have money. Well, I have lots of money. <laughs> In fact, I have lots of money. <laughs> I'm pretty much broke. You're always broke. What do you mean? I got 25 gold. You've died twice. <laughs> and you guys looted me. Hell yeah, we did. We've killed Natsu twice. Hey, Tin Can. <laughs> oh, God. What's your hey, name? Hey, Tree Stump. How's it going? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> People aren't nice, guys. <laughs> Fucking called me a Tree Stump. You called him, call him a Tin Can. Hello, what are those floating orbs you have? <laughs> oh, this is my latest experimental magic. I'm trying to see into the future. 
Oh boy. Well, do you see me turning in into a fucking dwarf? <laughs> I see a dwarf turning into a tree, is that right? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I start I... walking with Elky. <laughs> what are I'm you doing over here? Drinking, of course. It's Friday. <laughs> what happens on Saturday? I drink. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna sit next to this guy. At least he could get drunk. I yell. <laughs> can I make a nature check? Sure. I'm trying to determine what can get a tree drunk. <laughs> um, I'm going to question what kind of. I mean, sure, you could make a roll. Um, I'm not sure that that's the kind of thing you can pull out of thin air. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you'd answer that question with full access to Wikipedia. Biodiesel. <laughs> that's like soil and green for trees. Yeah, that's true. Yes, I do. Oh my god. Ow. I, I throw back the rest of my mug. <laughs> I start drinking mine. I'm bartender. drinking mine. I wave him over. <laughs> yes, miss? Another. Of course. Yeah. Would you like the bottle? Yes. Uh. Five silver. Sure. Hey, Elky. You Leave me alone. A of whiskey in front of you. <laughs> there you are, I miss. Think, Enjoy. I think we're all getting drunk but you. This is not fair. Hey, you two guys. Are you guys triplets because there's another one by the bar you guys all look the same <laughs> oh my god they turn to him and uh say in unison yes you hear a faint <laughs> yes and a faint yes from the next room oh my god <laughs> so there's four of you we're magical clones so quadruple it's elky <laughs> oh sorry you actually hear it six times <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's a lot of them why would you want to clone yourself? Faster drinking? <laughs> People to drink with. Get some friends. Who needs friends? <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this dwarf. Sit down. Siv. Yes? The reason why I asked for the nature check is because I know uh, some uh, Feywild stuff. Gotcha, so you're thinking there might be something that's, like, for Ents. Uh, I'm gonna say a 13 doesn't get you anything useful. <laughs> so what floating balls of magic are you working with? Did us? Well, we're just relaxing. We've been working in the lab all day. Some of us are watching the fights. Which fights? Oh, you haven't heard? This, this, um, this tavern has an arena. Oh, really? Here. They get up and uh, throw open a door. I walk One over second. with them with my mead. I'm setting up the door that they are. You coming along, Gene? No, I'm drinking. Be careful. Ah! Hello, lady. What are you doing over here? <laughs> Get away from me. So I want to proposition you with about four and a half inches of wood. Semi-hard wood. She snaps her fingers. Alka disappears. Jesus. Where, are you, where, where the fuck was he? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know. Who was he talking to? Was it Susan? Okay, reappears uh, on the other side of the inn next to a similar looking woman. God damn it, why do they all why does she always send them to me? Would you like to place a wager a little short stack? Oh, over here? <laughs> Fuck you, I'm not short. <laughs> I'm tall for a dwarf. <laughs> you don't look like a dwarf. Yeah, tell that to the fucking guy who shoved an acorn in my mouth. 
Can I talk to the master of games? Hello, good dwarf, and welcome to the Bloodsport Arena. What is this? This is a place where mages can test their skills against each other in the arena. Or if you can make it to the top, you'll drink here for free. Oh, that's great. Fucking can't even get drunk. Is it to the death? Um, well, sort of. I mean, we we do it too on consciousness, and we've got uh, Mela here is uh, capable of bringing everyone back uh, if things get a little too rowdy. But we're we're usually free. We don't have that many deaths. It's fine. Just you have to be a mage. Uh, yes. Unfortunately, we require you to have some magical ability. Um, arcane. Although I think Mela's might be divine as well. Well. <sighs> I'm just gonna watch then. You got alcohol over here? Yes, sir. What would you like? Uh, I'll go with whiskey now. Whiskey it is. Two silver. Is there an entry fee? I asked the master. No. Uh, the entertainment for our patrons is what pays our bills. Um... It's, you know, and that's the thing is with everyone's adventures. So, you know, even if they win it, they don't usually, they're not here all that often. So it doesn't cost us much to keep them in whiskey. Besides, every time they fight, uh, the crowds, uh, the crowds cheer. We had, uh, we actually had one of Jack Smash's uh, companions here at one point. Fuck Jack Smash. Uh, no accounting for taste, I suppose. I look at the, is that another blue dragonborn? <laughs> I mean, you see another blue dragonborn that looks exactly like you. Oh, God. Okay. I I asked the master, who's that? Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, Mesmer. He likes to do that to fuck with people. He's uh, he's an illusionist. Well, would you like to enter, Mr. Dragon? I looked at Domir. What do you think? Shit. I'm not the one getting beat. I say do it. It'd be a good time to use your thunderclap. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say, thunderclap to your heart's content now. Oh yes, absolutely. The um the area's war the arena's warded, so you can set off whatever whatever effects you'd like. They won't extend outside the arena. I scratch my chin. Sure. I sit down next to Susan. <laughs> sure. Uh when did the game start? What's up? <laughs> Stump. <laughs> Somebody has a stuttering problem. <laughs> Susan's eyes flash green and she turns away. <laughs> oh my god. And some freaky eyes. <laughs> um, the master says, anytime you want to start, we're always looking for a match. Well, the only thing we ask is you gotta make your way up the ranks. You'll be fighting Malus first. Got any tips? Um, he's a some sort of priest of a cult. Uh, we don't tend to discuss the spells as it kind of gives a disadvantage to the people that have are you know that are here for a long time. Understandable. Sure. Well, climb down into the arena, Malus. You're up. I'd What's like up? to play your wager. <laughs> all right um yeah uh i guess you know what no we're gonna you i assume you're gonna wager on your friend let's let's uh see him fight before i start taking odds can't tell you how many fucking adventurers stomp in here and expect to make a shit ton of gold uh crushing the uh the locals hey citra come with me i want to talk to you for a second okay i'm over here in the corner Hey, so win a couple of them, and then you're going to lose the third one, and I'm going to bet all my gold on you to lose. I mean... We're going to be rich. As long as you cover my expenses for coming back. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay. All right. Hey, um, uh, Citra. Yeah. I must stand by you and give you uh, advantage. I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, there's a no magic field around the arena, so. Can I cast a spell on you then? 
Sure, you can try. I'm gonna cast Shield of Faith on you. What does that do? Plus two armor class. Okay. Where's Gene? She was drunk at the bar. Not no more. Oh, you there. Dwarf, you were here with that girl earlier, weren't you? Yeah. Where'd she go? Uh, she left a note for uh, for you. Uh, she said you were the leader. He passes you a note. The note reads, come find me. Oh my. <laughs> I guess I'm looking for Gene. I'm gonna come with you. There's nothing here for me. I can't get fucking drunk. I hate people. Fucking place. Well, Where did she go? <laughs> couldn't tell you. Um, she stumbled off. Let's see. I think it was to the east. Outside the building or inside the building? Oh, she she left the building. I guess we're going to go look for her. Yeah, let's go, Alki. Okay. okay, so I have no idea that any of that happened, so I'm just going to continue with the. Yeah, just do your fighting. <laughs> I step down Stay. into the arena um, and kind of size up the other boy. Good people of Kaldas, welcome to the blood pit. <laughs> Two mages enter. One mage leaves. The other one leaves unconscious. <laughs> Challenger, are you ready? I mean, I guessed. Melis, are you ready? Of course. Then let's battle. Three, two, one. Attack! <laughs> All right, Citra, so you've got the lead. Um, I'm gonna look at him really intently and uh, like kind of reach out my hand and like squeeze it a little bit and cast bind on him. So lightning, kind of like it looks like um small lightning handcuffs almost but not not actually connected they're like little rings of lightning hover around his hands and around his neck but they don't actually do any damage to him all right Mila stretches out his hands and um casts forth a pillar of shadow dex i needs an int save to avoid Spell Your save is 14, yeah. Alright, he's interrupted. Uh, give me a d4. Uh, Alright. Your turn. I'm gonna pull back my hands and uh, smack him with a lightning bolt. Uh, the lightning bolt strikes. He manages to dodge out of the way, but even the backlash knocks him to his knees. He falls unconscious. And we have a winner! Wow. What? What's your name, son? Citra. Citra has, <laughs> the, has defeated Malus. May the undeserving be swallowed whole. Really? That was it? Someone drag him out of there. Uh, they take Malus to the healer who makes some motions with his hands and he gets back. I look around and I don't see Dolmir. I uh, ask Buck, what's your in-game name again? <laughs> Chris. Natsu. 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 Natsu, where's Dolmir? Uh, he went out the door to the bar. 
I look up at the master. Sir, am I allowed to leave? Oh, yes, of course. As soon as the fight's over, you feel free to leave the arena. Hell, you can leave beforehand if you want, but, you know, you'll lose. Okay. Uh, I think we should I go left. find I'm Omer. just looking. I'm just, I was wanting to see the fight, so I, I'm not here. I walk up to Malice. Sorry for going so hard on you, buddy. This is the first time I've done anything like this. When the Dark Lord returns, I shall slay your skin from your body layer by layer. I, like, pull my head back and discuss. I'm like, okay. All right, so Dolmir and Alki aren't here, but there's no reason they shouldn't have vision to the thing. Yeah, yeah, that's um, why I was... So, uh, Dolmir, go ahead and make a... Let me think what this would be. You're trying to find someone in a crowded city. Go ahead and make a... I guess investigation seems appropriate. Can I help him? Sure. So, what do I need to do? Oh, God. It, yeah, I'm just giving him an advantage on it because you helped. All right. Hold the magnifying glass, Elkie. <laughs> as you, um... As you wander around, you notice um, Gene sitting outside a uh, building in the red light district. What are you doing, Gene? Oh, hey, Dolmir. Gene, you got me out of a bar. What, what's going on? Oh. Aki, I didn't expect you to come, too. Well, I can't get He's drunk, so me. I just stand in a bar yelling at people. I think I was going to get me into a fight. Uh, you drink enough stuff, you'll probably figure out something that will work, you know? I drunk a bottle of pine oil. <laughs> it did nothing, but now I'm burping up lemon scent. Did you try, like, a, a weed killer or something? No, but I will. Heavy. So, what are we doing out here? I mean, I wanted to talk to Heavy, but you're here too. But that's okay. I... What's up? I mean... You know. You've, you've seen what's going on. Things... Things aren't... Aren't really going well for me. Well, we're all here for you. Uh, yeah, but... <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, like, I'm not... I'm doing a shit job of saving people. Helm's mad. I'm upset. Iris is in prison. I'm a fucking tree. I mean, I think thanks, that's what she meant, Alki. Shut up. Thanks for making me feel worse, but don't mind him. And, no, you're doing fine. And, and Alki, you know I've been running off. I've noticed that. Yes. I mean, and I gesture towards the building behind me. Uh, this is where I've been going. Like. Why this are you is... going to a red light district? Only I go here, and they know me by my name. Because <laughs> it's... It's what keeps me close to... Some sort of happiness. Close to Iris. Wait, but... she works here? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, God. But... The girls don't ask questions. They ask questions when a fucking tree walks in. But I'm not a tree. I stand up and walk um, towards the door. I... I don't really know... What's going on with everything anymore so i might need some time to think about it and i open the door and then i go inside 
Oh, well, we're always here. So, Domer, before we head back, I'm going to probably hit up uh, a store and see if there's some chemical fertilizer I could drink. I don't know what else I could. This shit's depressing. Yeah. Alki, okay, are you going to... I, I can narrate uh, if you want to go to like a farming supplies. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to sneak around a farming supply store while everybody else is doing stuff. Alright. The, you walk into the store, the shopkeeper notices you, Hello, sir. Tree, would you like to buy something? So I was just wondering, you know, being that I'm, you know, part tree... Would you want to try some products on me? <laughs> See what works and what doesn't work? I mean, if I grow a couple inches, you could definitely sell it to the farmers and, and tell them how amazing this product works. I think it would be a great idea to, for both of us. <laughs> so you want to try some fertilizer, sir? You, you know what fertilizer is made from, yes? At this point, uh, yeah, I guess so. All right. He, here's uh, some of our finest. Go ahead and take a taste. I drink a bottle of his finest fertilizer. Uh, fertilizer I mean, is a solid. Not a bottle. Yeah. Okay. Well, I chew on it. <laughs> put a, I pretty, put a big. It's... I put okay. a big, big dip size under my gum, <laughs> and I'm spitting it out like tobacco. <laughs> it tastes like crap. <laughs> Does it do anything for me? No. I you, just you, just out of character. You know how like they made fertilizer in the Middle Ages, right? Yes, I know. Okay. I'm trying to get a buzz. <laughs> I'm trying to find something that gives me a buzz. I spit it out on his floor. Fuck this shit. And I walk out. <laughs> the shopkeeper okay. shakes his head. Fucking Warforged. <laughs> uh, back in the bar, I asked the barkeep where Delmir went. Oh, uh, they headed out after your friend. Uh, I guess the girl, she uh, left a note saying, come find me. And uh, they went out after her. Huh. Okay. Natsu, you want to go find him? Sure. All right. I'm just going to walk around the city. Are we going to do like an investigation check in order to try to find Delmir? Uh, yeah, sure. Can I assist him? Yep. Uh, you quickly track down uh, Delmir by asking passersby. He's, uh, thankfully, he's returning to the bar, so... We found him pretty quick. Hey, what's up? Where'd Gene go? Uh, I think it'd be better for her to explain it. I shrug my shoulders. All right. Are you coming? What about Aki? He ran off looking for something to get buzzed or something. He was highly upset. I don't like seeing my friends upset. Yeah, oh, well, we've had a shitty time lately. Are we going back to the bar, or did you have other plans? I was just gonna walk around the city, maybe go to a, um, see if any mercenaries are in town. I'll come with you. All right, so what are you guys looking for? I was just going to walk around town and see if there's any mercenaries or no in town. All right. 
Um, you ask around in a few bars, but you don't think any of your clan is available. Well, <laughs> I'm worried about Jean Dolmere. She needs a time. She she told uh, me and Elke that she needs some time to think about some things. I'm sure she'll get a touch with us in a little while, a day or two. She hasn't been the same since Pillar. Yeah, I know. We all haven't. Alki's a fucking tree. We've lost two companions. So I... Alright. Ignore that last bit, because apparently whispers don't fucking work. Rip. <laughs> I... I feel out of place. Yeah. Me too. I'm a dwarf mercenary. I'm not used to being in charge of people. Just a private. So leading people has been fun. Fucking everything. Back in my clan... Social interaction is never my forte. Being with you guys has opened me up, but I'm still confused about so much. Yeah, me too. I'm used to just fighting for money and trying to protect and kill people I'm told. We... We weren't allowed right. to leave or do anything. Momentarily, but... you hear a scream as Alki is tossed out of a brothel. <laughs> Come on, my money's good! I'm gonna go into the brothel. <laughs> our our whores don't work that kind of work. You're disgusting, mister. <laughs> Bring it back an animal or something. They'll fuck that. <laughs> fuck you. You guys might want to go I'm gonna grab him. the door and drag him out. Back in my day, I would have fucked you up. Does Stacy still work out. there? <laughs> what are you doing, Alki? I don't know. I hate fucking towns. I can't drink. Fucking losing it. Alki, I have an idea. Let's get you drunk. Okay. I'm it's listening. It's going to be a poison, but it's a poison for plants. And maybe it'll fuck you up a little bit. Okay. So let's go get some. I go with Natsu. Alright, you're paying though. I guess. Where are we going? <laughs> to an elf who deals in. Uh, Plant poisons. Is there one in this town? I hope so. I'm waiting for Sib to tell me. I just followed Dolmir. Okay, what are you looking for, buddy? Uh, plant poisons. Sure. This is a magical town. There's sure there's some gardening stuff. Alright, I'm looking for the finest poisons for plants that are kill them in like three days. 
Sure. Do you know that such a thing exists in D&D? Uh, there must be something in the Feywild for nuisances. I don't want to die, though. I want to fucking get That's why I said drunk. Three days. It would just like fuck you up real bad. Yeah, I'll I'll pass. Not not to. I start walking back to the bar. I I don't know that there are large scale herbicides in the system. Um, <laughs> So I'm back at the bar. Sure. You have returned to the bar. I sit down. So when are we leaving this town? Don't... I don't know. Well, I'm going to just go in rest mode over here, I guess. Since I can't fucking sleep, I'll just be a fucking wooden juke. I'll drink for you. Don't worry. Can I get a bottle? Sure, sir. This one's on the house. I saw a citrus fight. Yeah, he's pretty good. I could go for another, I guess. That guy seemed really weak, but I used up a lot. I'm sure I'll be fine, though. I'll be over here, Citra. Don't get killed. Okay. I right, walk into in. the room over here. Citra, have you come to fight once more? I think I will. Of course. You'll be fighting a land alar. Uh, the dark-skinned woman across the way gets up, uh, letting fire dance between her fingers as she stands. I go in a sentry rest over here. Sure. But I keep my ears open to see if these guys are talking about anything. They seem to be discussing the minutiae of various arcane, uh, arcane techniques. You quickly fall asleep. Not that you need to sleep, but they do bore you to it. I take a deep breath and... Um, drain all of my sorcery points into recovering a spell slot. I think it's seven for a fourth level slot, right? Or is it less? Um, I will check. Yeah, this is supposed to be... All right, converting a spell slot to sorcery points. Fourth level is six points. Oh, six. Okay, cool. All right, I walk over. Same rules as last time, I, I presume? Yep. All right. All right. The challenger, Citra, is taking on the legendary Alad Nalar, Mistress of Flame. Will Citra defeat the Queen of Volcanoes? Or will she cook him to a cinder? All right, competitors, on your mark. In three, two, one, fight! Those are some initiative rolls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, Natsu, and your shield of faith did just blink out as he stepped across the threshold. No pre-buffing. All right, Citra, you are up. <sighs> Let's see. I cast, um... Hold on a sec. I cast Blur on myself. Sure. And uh, move forward a little bit.
Uh, Len, oh, yeah, you're on there? Yeah, Alright, that's fine. She runs towards you, and she casts... Did I do that wrong? Hold on. Oh, shouldn't be doing that as Iris. Here we go. <laughs> Burning hands. Deck save. Deck save. Damn it. All you. Um, I'm going to uh, use my dragon's breath on her. I open my mouth and roar. Oh, and falls to her knees unconscious. I cock my head to the side and look back up to the master. Is that it? <laughs> Don't get cocky. We let you. We send you up against the weaklings first. I'd like to play your wager. Well, your friend's been tearing them up. I'll give you. Uh, let's see, one to four odds. That he wins. He yeah. loses. And that he wins. Alright. I'll low. put 20 gold down. <laughs> sure. Uh, Len is carried out of the uh, area. I back up on my side of the arena again. Oh, you'd like to fight again? I think so. Well, it's going to be a bit of a mirror match. You're up Charging against battery. Mesmer. Ah, <laughs> uh, the creature that looks like you climbs down. Oh, look at me. I'm such a... I'm a big fat blue dragon. I'm gonna win this fight. <laughs> I narrow <laughs> my eyes at him. I'm laughing in sentry mode. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, fight. Oh, didn't have that. Here, we'll just reroll. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, the illusionist appears to blink in the air. Is he like flying? Uh, no, he just short. It was like a short teleported. Did that not do anything? That's weird. Why did that not? Just a disappearing, huh? Make a wisdom save. Oh boy. Not my strong suit. Um, a illusion, a creature appears that looks horrific to you. Um, you are terrified of it and uh, quail away. And can you describe the creature? <laughs> um, it has elements of your parents, but it's some ungain unholy monstrosity sprouting tentacles is it like right in front of me or is it where he was it's right in front of you ah i um i try to am i might is it like a cc or whatever uh you're frightened is right. what's going on. okay would it define frightened? 
you have disadvantage on ability roll uh, ability checks and um attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight and you can't move closer to the source of its fear. okay um thunderclap destroy the whole arena <laughs> fuck him yeah uh i slap my hands together and cast thunderclap trying to blow the <laughs> thing back <laughs> all right um, nothing happens, and the creature, if anything, is closer to you than it was before. It's illusions. Don't worry about it. Just hit the guy. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Mesmer fires off a barrage of magic mess. I see them coming. Also, um, you need to make a wisdom save at the end of your turn. Okay. Sorry, I forgot about that. <laughs> hey, nothing happens. Oh, actually, the uh, the illusionary thing disappears. Alright, so you're doing Cyclonic Shell? Yeah. Alright, do I not have a attack roll there? Whoops. Magic missile and the hits. Oh, right. So it makes you immune to magic missile. Okay, cool. So he does the magic missile. You cause it to miss. Back to you. And you I, are no longer frightened. I, um... Cast lightning bolt at him. Sure, the lightning will hit some square on, and he uh, falls to the ground. I shake off, or I shake my head, uh, getting rid of the image that I saw. I look back up at the master. Who's next? Uh, so I believe there's some payment. Of course. Here's your twenty gold back, and then another five. Thank you. Next up, you'll be fighting Susan. The uh, Susan slithers down the ladder. And all right. We're fighting in three. I wake up. Two. Susan! Come on! You got this! I look at Alki. What the fuck, man? Hey, uh, Susan. What's your number? <laughs> I don't think she can hear us. Uh, Susan pulls out a bow and um, fires a shot at you. Wait, that's not magic. Uh, that connects, right? Yeah. I didn't even see a roll. Yeah, I don't see it either. Oh, she is rolling to the GM. My bad. Here we we'll go. We'll re -roll. Hey, she missed this time. <laughs> Sit your um, I, oh, and, uh, the master of the games catches your combat. Um, what do you mean? Her face goes blank. That was a perfectly normal poison spell. Um, let's see. Hold on. I cast haste on myself. And I do I get the extra action this turn, right? Since my action was haste and then I get the haste action. Makes sense to me. Okay. But the haste action, hold on. Gives you attack, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object. Okay. Can I use a cantrip as the attack? I don't or think that's an attack. Weapon, one weapon attack only? Okay. 
Yeah. All right. Get up there. Get... Yeah. So I'm gonna sprint, uh, like right next to her and um, swing at her with my scythe. As your scythe connects, the judge crawls out. Foul! Foul! I look back up at him. She shot an arrow at me. She used her poison spell. That's definitely not a poison spell. I point directly at her bow. No, you don't understand. The f this is a comp this is my spell focus, and this scythe is mine. But I shoot spells with mine. You're using it like a weapon. The match is over. Citra is disqualified. Susan is the winner. Silly dragon. If you want to cheat, make sure you make sure you've got the judge under control. Hey, uh, mess of games. Down. I'd like to fight Susan. <laughs> You're not a mage. What are you gonna you, do? You don't look like a caster without all that armor. I am definitely a caster, and I can use my weapon as a focus. Make a deception check. Yes, yeah, start all over at the beginning, dude. Is this the healer? Uh, yeah. I walk up to her and ask if I can get healed up. Of course, Terry. Does that restore my uh, sorcery points too? Uh, no. Okay. And no spell slots either? No. As a person watching the game, Master of the Games, it seems that this was uh, pretty much a favorite to Susan from the beginning. Like, there's something that going on here. What do you mean? Susan is perfectly normal. I don't think she is. She's from the jungle. No, that's not racist. so. <laughs> I, I How think dare you? I think there's some... She's a fair-skinned woman from the jungle. You presume to think she's cheating. No, Just I think, I, you're, I think you're cheating. I think this is a cheat from the beginning. I think this is all a cheat. I didn't say she was cheating. I just want to fight her. Um, a uh, The last... Another person sitting on the stool comes out and asks... Uh, Krista, go to the side. Don't follow her. Look, she's a yuan -ti. It's obvious, right? Mm hmm She charmed the master of the games. She's convinced the uh, she's convinced her that she's a spellcaster when she's really just shooting with weapons. It's really fucking funny. Don't mess it. I'll mess with her. everything. I'll mess. Everything up. She's not talking to you. She's talking to Chris because Chris is making. Oh, okay. I sit down at the table with these other, or I get a drink. Or bartender, can I have a drink? Susan so so walks up to you. Well, Scaly, you want another round? This time I won't miss. Only if you can't use your bow there. Bow? What bow? I'm going to use my poison spell. You might fool the Master of Games, but you're not fooling me. I only need to fool her. So you're going to Although fight. now that you're thinking, now that I think about it, her hands come up and she starts casting a spell. Might as well use a little magic. Citra, make a wisdom safe. She attempts to magically. She attempts to influence your uh, actions, but fails completely. You're able to shake it. Up. I smack her hands out of the way. Be gone. 
well, whatever. Thought! It's sort of easier. <laughs> she walks back. Uh, you notice the swaying of her hips. <laughs> I asked for a drink from the bartender. Of course, sir. What will you have? Uh, what's the smallest, or what's the next biggest thing you have besides a keg? Below that. Um, I mean, probably just a bottle, I'd say. Can I have a bottle of mead? Sure. Two silver. Here you go. I'm gonna roam down here. Sure. That's the, uh, that's the stairs up, I think. Okay. Yeah, sure. And I'm going up. I go over and uh, sit next to this clone and this spellcaster. Wait a second, I'm just moving you over. So I'm going to be sneaky and I'm listening for stuff. Sure. You hear Wait. two you hear two guards animatedly animating animatedly discussing the uh, their days. It's really boring. <laughs> Can I try to sneak past them? Sure. Make a stealth check. You, as you walk out, the guards just look directly at you. Hey. Hey, what are you guys doing up here? I'm kind of <laughs> lost in my room. Chilling and drinking. Our rooms are down the hall. Oh, okay. Have a good time. We will. Thanks. All right, Sitcher, what's up? Um, I sit down with my bottle and start checking. I finish the whole thing and slam it down on the table and look at the two spellcasters. You saw that, right? You're chugging that bottle? Yeah. How do you even drink with a, from a bottle without with a mouth like yours? It all goes down the throat. I know I'm talking That's about. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh, and then I talk about, or I I say no. I was talking about Susan. Susan, what about her? She's perfectly normal. She has you guys under a spell too. What are you talking about? She's kind. Of, she's kind of hot, isn't she? I would like to put it in her cloaca. I roll my eyes and just uh, look at the Master of Games. So, uh... All right, so sorry, sorry, Jin threw a batter at me. What's up? So I'm over here. Uh, can I hear anything for coming from these doors? Sure, you can hear the faint hum of magic and the hum of mages discussing their dice and more boring stories so i'm gonna try to open the store in front of me it opens oh you okay. want that door yeah where, where does that go that just goes back down to the okay ground floor. so i open this open door up. hey mages uh i just came up there the party you guys partying in here <laughs> Ah, uh, no, you see, we're playing Magic the Gathering. It's a card <laughs> game invented by uh, one of the mages here. Would you like to learn? God. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, why not? All right. So these things here, are there's, those are called lands. They represent the resources. I'm not going to explain Magic the Gathering to you guys. We'll be here all night. <laughs> and going to learn about, about the... Say, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> all right. Meanwhile, anyway. Sentra... Before we get into Citra, can I ask something? Sure. I've got the uh, scribbles from the king. Can I walk around trying to find someone to teach me that? Sure. Um, so you'd be able to... Yeah, you could learn... Uh, you want to go learn Paleon. Um, yep. So that is... Uh, you'd, 
you walk out and you walk to the mage's college um, where you find a professor of uh, languages. He is fully familiar with Paleon and offers to teach you. I would love to learn it. I All loved right, that room. Explains. That game was too boring. So I'm it just... Explains. It will... Let me figure out how long that would take. I think it spells out how long it takes to learn a new language in the downtime thing, right? Yep. Uh, I think it's like 10 days. 250 days. Yeah. Oh, damn. It's a and lot. one gold per day. How long just to be, like, understanding some more? To understand the language? 250 days. <laughs> I mean, you'll have, like, a... If you short, if you cut it short, you might have like some basic stuff. Like you, you'll be able to ask where the library is. That kind of. Um, I have a. I might have a way. If you want to like partially learn it, I might have a way to implement that. But I gotta think about okay. how that's gonna. Yeah, we can do it on the next time we're doing downtime. Just. Let me know. I don't think everyone wants to wait 250 days for me, so. Yeah, I mean, we basically just be going through a, uh, like, we can, we can time skip if everyone can find things to do for 250 days. That's a long time skip. Sir Hugo's gonna really wonder where you guys are, though. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna oh. send two letters, one to Sir Hugo and one to my order. Sure. Uh, saying that I failed to get the seed, and then the other ones that we're alive and okay. You know Sir Hugo has no idea who you are, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll say the party name, whatever that is. We don't have a name. Maybe you should get one. Yeah. Maybe. I'll just guide the party. Alright, so Heavy, I can give, in two months, I can give you a rudimentary understanding of, uh, yeah, two months, 60 days, I give you a rudimentary understanding of Pelion. You will be able to communicate using only the most, the 100 most common words in the English language. Okay. That's up to everyone if they want to wait and do stuff for two months. Are we going to stay in this town the whole time? No, I think Maybe. we should go back to tell a, um, what's yeah, his Hugo. Let's go do that right now. I mean, what's we don't, the point of staying yeah, here? We, we can, well, we're waiting on Gene. And you guys are all doing stuff. Well, I mean, I was kind of done. I lost. I I'm lost. just kind of pissed off. Can I, now. uh, can I find out if there's any, like, any blacksmiths in town that can train me into making magical weapons or at least into using my helmet to make a weapon like my helmet the bartender doesn't seem to know anything about that he knows there are people who can enchant items but he doesn't think there's any way to train you okay I'm gonna go find a brothel I'll be sitting in at the bar drinking till everyone's ready to go, or we figure. Out. I asked Domir. I'm like, pretty fucked up at this point. Did you see that? See what? That stupid bitch, Susan. Bro, I've been just sitting here drinking. She cheated, and she has the. Master of games, fooled. Ah, just let it go, dude. <sighs> we got bigger problems waiting on everyone. Get the party back together and shit. Alright, what so, do you guys like to do? I'm looking for our lost party member. 
Who'd you lose? <laughs> Gene. Oh, okay. I thought we knew where Gene was. We know where Gene is. Um, well, I was well, never told. Me, me and Alki know. I didn't tell anyone, and Alki's been running around. <laughs> we're. I'm just gonna wait till in the morning. I'm done doing what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna wait till everybody's ready. So who's not ready? I'm fine. Oh shit! I'm gonna buy some potions. While we're in town, we're going right back to Hugo, so we can buy potions there. While we're doing it now, I can buy potions now. Alright, I think potions of healing are usually 50 gold apiece, so feel free to pick up as many as you'd like. I'm gonna okay. buy some. Too. I'm gonna get a 6, which is 300, right? Uh, yes. I'm gonna get 4. While you're shopping, a, um... Okay, yeah, that's fine. Alright, I'm good. Uh, when you return to the tavern, um, the bartender is... calls you. What's up? Um, I think... I, th I think your friend sent a message here for you. Okay. She, uh, she wrote it on a prostitute. It's <laughs> on her breasts. Um, she said to go back to East Pass without her and just stop by Kaldos next time, like, before you go out on another adventure. She said she's busy, and then at that point, the, um, the, the, the prostitute slapped her own ass. <laughs> Lucky I'd appreciate it if you could not do that that's we've got we don't thankfully there weren't any children in there today but you know this is i won't say it's a family establishment we'll have the blood pits and all but you know it's a little different you know okay what would you like to do you guys want to go get her see if she wants to come yeah let's go ask Because by now, I'm sure you know she's at the whorehouse. <laughs> you arrive at the whorehouse. Ooh, we got some strong strapping men today. What'll it be, boys? I described Gene. Oh, we don't have anyone like that or redhead. Well, we've got one redhead, but uh, it doesn't look like that. Um, well, tell you what, why don't you come on and look at the girls and I'll tell you which. Okay, <laughs> that sounds great. Let's go in, guys. I shrug and walk in. I was hoping they would point her out, not, you know, you'd be a whore. <laughs> Guess we're going in. <laughs> you see a number of scantily clad women, uh, mostly blondes and brunettes. Surprisingly, no redheads. Um, you don't see any sign of Jean. Is there an old house mother? <laughs> yes, you were talking to her seconds ago. Okay, I'm gonna head on her. Voice? Anyone that? <laughs> it's okay. Make a um. <laughs> what's that? Persuasion, I guess. Oh my god. Can I assist them since it's partially my fault? <laughs> um, <laughs> sure. You both seduce the matron. Oh my god. Um, she agrees to go upstairs with you for. <laughs> I don't know. Let me. I gotta look up whore table. <laughs> whore table. <laughs> I don't want to go up with him. <laughs> Fuck. No, no, no. I say this one's all you, and I smack you on the ass. <laughs> One gold apiece. Oh my god. No, just them. Both of you are no deal. Uh, yeah. I'm out. I apologize. I don't really want to describe it. <laughs> I'm out. I just went down the steps. I try to look around Have and see. Have you guys slept? Not yet, I don't think. Because this, okay. is this still the same night? Or. 
I don't know. It can be whatever you guys want. I just I don't remember if you guys said like. I was assuming we slept. Okay, yeah, we can sleep then. All right, Alki. When you wake up, you notice that your um, twig and berries has grown at least an inch. <laughs> what do you know? Fertilizer works. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. We need to go back and get more fertilizer. This could be amazing. Hey now, from three to four, get it right, Gene. Are we able to uh, look for Gene anymore? <laughs> um. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, you can go back to the brothel. <laughs> I thought we were at the brothel. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You guys are at the brothel. What would you like to I'm do? I'm gonna see the redhead. Oh, I'm sorry. She's with a customer at the moment. How much would it be to join? <laughs> oh my god. I wouldn't feel comfortable offering that. You want me to go ask her if she's, uh, if she'd be interested in the third? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Fucking hell. So I'm upstairs, right? Well, we're in the brothel, right? Yes, and I'm upstairs, right? By myself. Did, did you go with the matron? Well, yeah, I guess so, since I thing grew from a two to a three. <laughs> um, so the uh, matron comes back down the stairs. Uh, she's not interested. Mm-hmm. I right, look at Dalmir. What should we do? Well, she said to uh, come back if we have another quest, so let's just... Hey, she obviously Matron, doesn't want to see us. Is, is there a 13-year-old red-headed girl <laughs> as a customer in here? You know that's against the laws. We're not allowed to discuss anything about the status of our customers. I apologize. Besides, there, are no, there aren't any laws about that. Yeah, Nick. Well, how would you how would you like that to get out that you are you're having underage people in here? Med medieval times, uh, there was no underage. That's true. Never mind. And we'll Almost. not we'll we won't go any further down that rabbit hole, please. Correct. Yes. Um, so a door open. You hear the sound of footsteps upstairs, and shortly after, um, Jean descends the stairs. What? What? We gotta Why? go. Why are you here? <laughs> what do you want? Uh, we got your message. We wanted to get you before we went back. Aki, I know you got my message. You were there. You were there when I told you. Just... Just... Go somewhere else. Just leave me alone. I, I... I can't... God, I can't deal with this right now. It's fine. We'll come back later. We'll see you, you know, next time we come. Fuck! Iris, what?! <laughs> Iris up there? I cock my head to the side when she mentions Iris's name. <laughs> Wait, isn't she in jail? Well, I guess she's is... working off her payment here. Iris is always in jail. She's... Jack gave her something that makes her in my head all the time. Well, why don't we try to fi fix that? I don't know how, and I, I don't know if I want it fixed, because, because it's Iris, and I feel like I'd lose her without this, but something's happening with Jack, and I don't know. Why don't we see if we can get her out of jail? 
she's in jail in Pillar. <laughs> how do you, Where's Pillar. How do you expect to, to free her from fucking Jack? I mean, Natsu. I mean, there gotta be something that he wants. Natsu. Natsu, you sweet boy. I don't... <laughs> I know you don't He's understand, but we can't. We just can't be Jack. Did you want to go kick his ass? No. Chris, it, or not so, it's not going to be that simple. He's got a whole town behind him. Also, there's magic in that town that makes him super powerful. Yeah. He, well, I have to pretty much. You can get the Feywild and crush him. It's not that easy. Well, Gene, you can stay with your friends. And, you know, there's a chance that, you know, shit could get worse. But at least you'll be with friends. But if you stay, you might not never see us again. And who knows, maybe along the way. We find something to help you, and eventually maybe I. There's... I don't... I don't know if we can help Iris anymore. Well, we can always help you. Oars are never going to fill the hole that Iris left. Nor the bottle. Uh, I don't... I don't know if I care. Iris just... I go back upstairs. Come on, Dolmir. Let's go. Where? Back to, uh... Okay. Back to where? The Adventurer's Guild. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, can we leave a note? Does anyone have paper and something to write? I grab a whore. You got something to write with? <laughs> and her lipstick. I write a note on her tits and give her two, <laughs> two gold. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good idea. Everyone, grab a hole. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Everyone, leave a note for Jean. Tell her where we're going, and we'll be back in a few days. And if she wants to join back up, she knows we'll be in town in that... All right. You all ride on your horse. <laughs> I summon my horse. Do you, do you we're all now have a horse? <laughs> Wait, in the brothel? <laughs> yes. There is now a horse in the brothel. It's, uh, after an initial shriek, the um, women gather around, around the horse. It's a fey horse, so it looks good. <laughs> They're all cooing over it. Women <laughs> like horses. <laughs> the matron is a little... The matron looks a little pissed, though. I roll my eyes and walk outside. Hey, Natsu, uh, pay the matron a little extra. <laughs> I go over to the matron. Hello. Could you... What the Hi. fuck is this? <laughs> uh, this is my friend from another plane. Look, we don't do that kind of stuff here. <laughs> no, 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 it's just the pet, and then we're going. <laughs> Can you just leave a message for the redhead that is depressed? Seems like you and your friends have already left enough messages on my women. <laughs> What's a guy gonna think about when he, get, he sees that and says, Gene, we're going to East Pass? <laughs> so how the fuck are they supposed to get hard on that see I know lipstick comes off with a wash 
So I just like you to give a message to her when she's done. All right, and I'll give you five gold. That. Five gold? If shit, yeah. And so I give a wordy message. Or basically, they will go in there and whatnot. Sure. All right, off to you, Spess. Yeah. Fun of seeing. Awesome. I can actually go there. All right. I have no idea where my token, how the tokens are doing. So let's see. Okay, Alki's still a dwarf, so we'll get rid of that. We don't have a Natsu, so we need one of those. And Jean is getting railed by some beef curtains, so she's not here. <laughs> the railed, before railing. <laughs> <laughs> You arrive in the Adventurers Guild. You guys all have vision, yes? Yep. Cool. Uh, I guess I'm gonna. I need to like build a like observer token or something that I can do for when people are not here. But Gene, I want to make sure Gene at least can see. It's not no point in her having a blank screen. Yeah. Hello, boys. Did you get that ring? Well, good news and bad news. Alki. Fuck you guys, I'm a fucking tree! Come here. No! <laughs> Can I lasso him with a rope? Do I gotta tie you up? Fine. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, no, we don't have the ring. We had it, and I gave it back to the king. Gave it back to the what? The king. He's undead at the bottom of the castle. The king of Selgard is alive? Alive, but undead, you know. Right, right, curved. right. But he's not... That's... That's not good news. Um, Have you yeah. told anyone about this? No. Have you thought about telling... One of Nargal's men? He's gonna want to know about this. I kind of assumed he knew, because it's his curse. That they're all dead in the city. Hmm. But alive. That's a, good, that's a good point. Well, I guess the question is, he's got the king's not mindless. That's what... No. I, so, no. I've heard of the Selgard undead, but they all lose their minds, don't they? Most of them did. He did not. I mean... I didn't know if that was normal or not. You can and report he was it. Smart, report. And he was smart enough to have his guards um, being able to listen to his command. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about that before. Um, Would you kinda feel mind like... sending something out to Fenargal? Oh, sure, I can do that. That's, because uh... that's the last thing we want, is him coming down on us with that. Okay, so tell me a bit about what happened. When did you beat him? What did he say? What did he do? Well, I've got this writing here. I hand the scribble over. Ah, Palan. So he's capable of still using language. Yep. He said that he lost control of his soldiers. There's only a handful that he had control over still. And there's a, a dead tree down there. Giant spider, apparently. Some other shit. And a dryad that's been withered. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, as far as it's been a long time since anyone's you went to the castle, I assume, and you went underneath it. Yep. It's been a while since we've sent someone down there, so that's the first I've ever heard of that. All right. I'll pass it on to Fnargal's man. He'll certainly be willing to give us a, the guild a decent reward for bringing that news in. Maybe he'll. Uh, I think there was a theory that the more the um. The more the undead die, the more they lose themselves. So it's possible just send some people over to, you know, knock out the king. And James Duskender is dead. Oh, I know. The Fearless Bastion has already been by. I'm sorry to hear of his loss. He was a good man. A little crazy with his ideas, but, um... Yeah. So, hey, I've got uh, some good news for you. Oh, we've recently received... We got a new um, addition to the uh, family here. 
a um, a crafter. Oh, cool. What can you do? Where's he at? Him, her, she, him. She. Um, she just goes by Ember, uh, but she is a specialist in creating magical items. Um, and she's particularly good at, we've actually had a few people come in recently and they've all, they've actually been like talk. they, they've told her about, uh, what the kind of stuff they want to make. And she's figured out like st ways to get those items made. It's really quite interesting. Hmm. Uh, she's down in the basement near the forge. If you uh, want to take a look, the uh, passageway is right over there next to your dwarf buddy. Where right next to your what the hell? <laughs> what happened to the dwarf? Yeah, he died. This is him. He just no longer smells. Um, our pally friend there gave him an acorn, and he turned into. Hmm. Maybe I should start collecting acorns. Well, good to hear he's all right, and I gotta say, the smell has improved. It's kind of like a rich cedar now. Although I smell <laughs> vague overtones of manure. <laughs> yeah, he's got a thing now. And I assume he's not drinking anymore either, huh? Wow. Oh, this he's is, trying. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> he's doing his best to try to find a way to fill that hole. Hey, lady. He's an, a he's an asshole to everyone now, though. Hey boys, what's up? So, can you turn a warforged back into a dwarf? Back into a what? Dwarf. Um. All right, this is a little crazy. What if you got yourself turned to stone, and then you tried turning, and then you tried stone to flesh? Okay. That might work. So how do we so do how, that? How do I turn into stone? <clears throat> um, well, you need a mage that could cast it. I think that's still a thing. Or a basilisk. Yeah, you need you need to piss off a really a really powerful wizard to get that. And of course, you have to make sure you have some way of turning. Isn't that? Wizard from a thousand years ago or whatever, somewhere around here still. Didn't we figure out he was dead? No, we <laughs> we figured out he wasn't dead. Oh yeah. That he yeah. he fled like northwest, I think. Yeah. Maybe in his castle he has something. Maybe. Might be something in there for you. So you see this sword? Yes. I want to make it glow with light and make it stronger. Hmm. Um, so with Masters of Light, have you ever heard of the, uh, what are they called? can't remember. They're the, uh, the Aluren. I have not. So there are a pair of, uh, fake creatures that live out near, uh, Westgate. Westgate? West West Pass. Um, and they're supposed to have some weird command over light. If you're looking for something like that, I would go to them first, I think. Uh, be careful. They're kind of powerful and kind of nasty. But uh, it's something. Do you know if I can uh, take this helm of telepathy and make it into a... Into a what? Axe, battle axe. Well, it'd be kind of floppy. Uh, but I'm saying you're saying you want to somehow imbue the um, imbue the axe with the power of that. Never mind. I think I'll just keep the helm. <coughs> Don't need two of them. I mean, if you're looking to combine. Almost like combining magic items. Have you ever heard of a dwarf elder forge? Vaguely, when I was a kid. So they're said to be dwarven relics specifically designed for the shaping of magical weapons, um, and they're, you're supposed to be able to do things with them far beyond what uh, 
you normally can do. Um, I've heard rumors that there is something that there's one of them up in the Western Mountains, uh, but I haven't. I don't know exactly where. Um, it might be. I think if you could find one, that might be worth it. But I'm gonna assume, you know, if there is one, some I'm sure someone's found it by now, and I don't know how how likely they are to be able to. Uh, you're gonna have to convince them, basically. Gotcha. Well, thank you for your time. No problem. Always happy to help. Uh, do me a favor, though. If you do get it, bring it on by. I'm curious how it's going to work. Will do. Do I get a uh, discount if I do? Discount? If you get the Elder Forge, you should be able to put it together yourself. Well, I mean, do you want to use it if uh, we get Oh, yeah. If you can find the location, I'd pay you a fair bit for it. Um, assuming it's, you know, free of encumbrances. We could do some cool stuff. Cool stuff. Gotcha. Well, thank you for your time. I'm going to go talk to Hugo. Sure. I shower my scythe. Ooh, pretty. Is there some way that this can be used to channel the wind? Channel what? The wind. Um, hmm. Have you ever heard of the Isle of the Southern Breeze? I have not. I'm guessing it's an island to the south. Yeah, smart. Clever. <laughs> uh, indeed. It's uh, one of the islands. A it's a little bit off the coast of South Pass. And uh, they say, I don't know if you've noticed, but we have particularly good <laughs> trade winds. Um, it's said that Fnargal himself installed some sort of um, beacon or something for air elementals. And uh, they um, they use that to generate it. it uses the island basically uses them to generate that wind. Um, it's possible if you get, if you got there, you might be able to find some way to siphon off some of the power. Um, like if you could get some sort of just pure wind essence, I'd probably be able to use that to make something interesting. Okay. Thank you. And I follow Pilmir. Well, Hugo, you got anything for us? <laughs> uh it's been a little quiet um tell me you were the ones who brought us something about the um that army right yes yeah we told them up in the uh town up north one of the north town huh i know they i heard rumors they sent out people to find them and uh those people never came back um, keep an eye out for that. I may, if we get more news, I may send something out here. I've got a, um, I can't believe I forgot to give this to you for a while, but this is, uh, who's the party leader? I point to Dolmir. All right. He hands you a, uh, smooth rock with a, uh, cloth wrapped around it. This is what we call a quest stone. Um, and it's, it can do a lot of things, but the way we've got it, we've got it set up pretty simply now. If I've got something for you, it's going to start glowing red. Um, and just kind of head back here, and I'll be able to explain what's going on. All right? All right. So, you guys have a few things that you would like to... That um, I've laid out for you. What would you like to do? It's glowing it's red. Glowing. Is my food done? <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to sit there wrong. He fiddles with something on his desk and the stone stops going red. So I guess not. I had to relaunch my game. Give me one second. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> it starts... <laughs> I figured he would get the joke. Yeah. All right, well, Citra is yours is to the south, right? Correct. Mine's is in the mountains to the west, northwest, I'm assuming. Ah, uh, yeah. Did anyone else have anything? Chris. Yes, I have to go to West Pass, I think. 
Looks like most signs are pointing west. Maybe we can get Gene and then uh, head yeah. that way. Well, hear me out. Let's just say that I need a favor and see if she'll come with. She seems to write me the notes, so maybe we can get her to join back up if That's I say I got a problem you. and I need... <laughs> Well, I can't get too close. I'm a mercenary. I shrug. She is too. And I'm a fucking tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are there any leaves coming out of the tree? I'm just curious. No. I mean, he's not actually a tree. He's just made of wood. And... Branches I'm gonna go knock on his mechanical. head. Hey, ouch! Why are you hitting me on the top of the head? I'm trying to see what's wrong with you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Here you go. Alright. So, let's go see if we can get Gene to come in with us. And we'll go west into the mountains. And then, uh, we'll get. Natsu's thing, and then we'll head south from. Unless we get, you know, this red hot fucking rock. <laughs> Alright, uh, do you guys want me to put you back in the Caldas Tavern? Is that useful? If Gene's there, yes, I guess so. Alright. That's the, that's the only thing I have at the moment that's going to be relevant to this. Yep. So. Now let's spawn a Gene. So, but it's been like a couple of days now, right? At least. Yep. Should be like three, three days. It's my seat, heavy. Don't mirror. Don't mirror. I sit down next to Gene. Don't mirror. How you doing? The same. Well. We don't have a quest, but I need a Your voice cut out? Yeah, you guys yeah, you keep guys cutting off at the like the last second. I need a favor. You don't need me. We sure do. You got an answer. Then you don't need me then. He's a fucking tank too. No. I start ruffling through my bags. I, I find up. rope. Gene, you're not gonna like this, but you're coming. Alki, leave her alone. Nope. I Get swear. here. Um. <laughs> Alki. I go grab the Warforged. I cast blindness at Alki. <laughs> Chase I turn around, around, around yeah. and Can't face the other way. Wait, Nagu? Alki. What's your DCs? I don't uh, know. 14, I think. Okay, he makes a save. Gene, you're coming. Anyway. No, Alki, stop. Look, we're not going to force you to go. But if it wasn't for you, we'd be dead in the ruins. Without your magic, we would have died before we even went underground. You've saved me countless times. We need you. I... I you always have us to lean on. Defeated. I take another swig of the bottle I'm holding. And I shrug. Whatever. Let's 
to whatever you need. Oh. Oh, we're gonna be heading to the west. Well, I guess we're going. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. I owe you this much, at least. For everything I haven't done. Shut up, Alki. I didn't say anything. I know what you were thinking. That fucking rope. Well, let's, right, go. let's go. This bar is a joke anyway. You travel to, uh, give me one second. Trying to find a uh, good music for this. Fuck. You arrive in West Pass and you enter the tavern. Okay. Everyone except Chris, because for some reason I didn't give him a character. There's not. I'll just add it again, dude. Oh, we'll go here. We'll do this instead. Evening, travelers. What brings you to West Pass? A quest of sorts. Oh, exciting. Looking for a pair of twins that can control light. Twins? We don't have any mages here. Don't know... Don't know what it could be. Um... Wouldn't be talking about the Fae, would you? Yeah, they're Fae. You wouldn't know what they are, right? Well, um... There are some areas to the north of here that are a little, uh... People are report. I have always reported weird lights and stuff, and some people have gone missing. Um, we've been thinking it's the Fae, but no one really wants to go and check. Well, I'll go and check. Is there anything to reward for it? I can't say there is. We don't have much organization around here. How about free drinks and ends, uh, Stace? Tell you what, you come back, I'll give you a mug of, a mug of ale on me. Tell me what they All look right. like. Yeah, they've said they're pretty. All fair are pretty. The bartender looks you up and down and then says nothing. All fair abominations. Look at me. This is what phase do do. They fucking turn you into fucking warforged. <laughs> I raised them from the dead the best I could. And he gets it. Hey man, I get it. You seen my skin? Yep. There's a plague, and they said some fucking druid came by, said he knew how to cure it. He cured it already, all right, but now I photosynthesized. <laughs> Although it's a great savings on food, of course. That's good. Well, good and bad. Yeah, I mean, you look like an ogre jerked off on you. <laughs> hmm. He's lost his, uh, sensor. I apologize for the stump's remarks. Shut up, you lizard. Gene. Uh. Gene. Mm. Let's go get some whores. <laughs> 
Uh, where are we? You know where we're at. West Pass? West? Yeah. West March? <laughs> Somewhere. We're in the. West Pass. West Pass, yep. You there? You do we, we have something to do, right? Yeah, we have a quest. Why are you so fuzzy? Let's let's do it. Uh have you heard anything about any old dwarfs in the mountains to the west? Um so if you look out at night, there's something up. Rippy cut out Sif. Up where? There's something up there. Um, looks like it could be some kind of forge. We can see fire coming from the mouth of a cave. Here, are uh, you got? Got a what? A map? Yeah, I think we. Someone does, don't we? Do don't we all have that map? I'm not. You yeah. certainly have a map among the party. All right. I can hand him the map. Just draw it on me. Fucking washes off anyway. Uh, the bartender marks the location on your map. That's about as well as I can. That looks about where I can see. Um, yeah. Be careful. I mean, there's something up there. And it's, you know, we've got dwarves in the area, but they I don't think it's them. I mean, it can't get any worse. You guys ready? Let's go kill a dragon. Well, we need to wait till night to see it. Do you want to go do my thing real quick and then it'll be nighttime and we look? We can look around for your thing, yeah. Alright. Uh, you guys march to the north. As time goes on, you start noticing the, um, the, it looks a little different in the woods, um, almost more mystical. Suddenly you come to a clearing and you see a fairy on this. Greetings. Greetings to you. Would you like to play a game? Possibly. But may I ask what the rewards and consequences are? Have you ever heard the tales of Thomas the Swift? No, but go on. Thomas the Swift is a game we play. He says things, but the way, he, but what he says is explicitly tied to how he says it. If you can win. I'm going to ask each of you a question. And if you win all five, you get to go past. But for each of you that fails a question, that person will be cursed. And what if we don't do the game? Then I curse you all. And you don't get to pass. What, what happens if, if I eat we you? We ask you a question and you can't answer it. Then I can't answer it. I don't. I don't think you understand this game very well. Let's play the game. Very well. Let's play. All right. The first question is for you, sir dwarf. Yes. Not you. The one with the armor. <laughs> the one that's not a tree. Wouldn't be a tree if it wasn't for you fuckers. Um, you don't want to be polite. Okay. Sorry. Thomas said, I grew two inches last year. Did he say it abnormally, ambiguously, or acute? <laughs> What? This is on this is on Dolmere. None of you help him or all Carson. Can I ask questions before I answer? Sure. I'm so confused. 
Thomas asked, can you repeat it? Thomas said, I grew two inches last year. Did he say it abnormally, ambiguously, or acutely? <laughs> and remember, what Thomas says is always connected to how he said it. And by the way, it's in chat if you guys want to like look at it. Well, Miss Fairy Lady, I don't know what any of those words mean. I'm going to go with B. Ambiguously, you're correct. You see, he uh. grew. He's big. And big. Ambiguously. Oh my god. It seems you like it's a game Citra's going to be good at. You high, fives, high fives, everyone. High fives, high fives. <laughs> Our next question is for you, lady, little lady. Oh, God. Thomas said, the auction is now open. Did he say it fortunately, freely, or forbiddingly? The auction? Fortune? Oh, uh, three for bidding on. Oh god. Correct. Ah. Because the auction is now open for bidding. <laughs> oh fuck. Lee. <laughs> so bad. This next one is for the tree stump. <laughs> Dwarf. <laughs> Whatever. Thomas said, I'm sorry, but the lady is spoken for. Did he say it mistakenly? Mysteriously or monthly? <laughs> Mis mistakenly. Okay. Oh my god. One. Mistakenly. Of course. Because the myth is taken. <laughs> <laughs> These puns are brutal, dude. Okay. Can we, can we get this done with soon? Just two more. I'm having an aneurysm. <laughs> This one is for the dragon. Thomas said, lower rank demons can kiss my ass. <laughs> Did he say it impatiently, indubitably, or imprudently? Uh, um... Uh... Improved. Hurry, sir, dragon. Of course, because he's rude to the imps. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck. This last one is for. Well, the only one we haven't done. Oh, God. It's, it's... <laughs> Thomas said, umph, umph, umph. Did he say it tremendously, triumphantly, or twice? Ah, uh, triumphantly. God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with number two. Whew. Of course. Um, bum, bum, triumphantly. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh You've answered all my riddles. You may pass. Great. Hopefully there's no more riddles. Uh, thank you, and we will be on our way. Good evening. Have a good evening. You too. Come back this way. I'm sure I'll come up with some better ones. Is there a no, path no. out of this without coming this way? I would like to go that route. Well, I can move. That's fine. Nice. So you travel on through the Fey Woods. And you... Let me see if I can get this. You arrive on a brightly lit path. 
Now, guys, things might not be what they seem. Why is that? Why is that? Yeah. Hey, magic. It will ensnare you, trick you, and trap you. Well, you lead the way. I'll back up the party. I uh, say hello. Make a uh, investigation check. There. So I'm leaving um, breadcrumbs in for my ration so we know our way. Okay. The door um, is open, dears. Don't go in there. What does the voice sound like? An old lady? Um, it sounds like a um, sexy woman that I can't do well and I'm not going to try to do Come on, Sue. I asked, may I come in? <laughs> the door is open. <laughs> that just sounded terrifying. There you go. Of course. Come on. Um, I asked our friend who is Jean. Can you check the door for traps? Uh, sure. Because just because it's open doesn't mean it's not trapped. What As you... Um, probably investigation. Oh, you don't want me rolling investigation. Can I assist? Um, you... As you reach out to the door, you notice that something weird seems to be happening to your hands, as if they're caught in some sort of illusion. You see a brief flash of pink. Of pink? Yep. As if a uh, like a light pink tan, as if skin tone. I take out my shield and a javelin. And I poke the door with my javelin. Um, it the javelin just pokes the door. It <sighs> appears to balance as a four. Hmm. Can I knock on the door? Sure. I knock. The door opens. So the door opens, and you see a beautiful woman standing in the doorway, naked. Hello, Hello Miss. Hi. What can I help you with? What is your name? I am the Alluren of Day. Ah. Where's well, your sister at? Her eyes go dark. Don't ask me that. Well, I figured that would be a question to ask since there's supposed to be two of you in your day, so I was wondering where night is. My sister is on the other side of the forest. Do you know how to um, make light? She, in answer, she, hands up, she holds up her hand and a blinding flash appears. See, I wanted to make my sword glow with light permanently. Hmm. Well, you know, I might be able to help with that. But I'll need something in exchange first. Okay, go on, do you tell? My sister. What I do you want you to kill her. Does your sister look like you? Not nearly as pretty. That's what they always say. The evil sister always says that about the nicer one. <laughs> she sh uh, she shoves Gina aside. She shoves... Why can I not? I guess I need that. Oh, that's why. She shoves Gina aside and walks up to Alki. I'm sorry? <laughs> uh, do I need to repeat what I just said? I take a step back. 
Um, my tree friend here is pretty stupid when it comes to Feywild. Do I have that wrong? Hold on. He had a near-death experience, and I turned him to a tree. She reaches out and slaps Alki, who nimbly dodges back. Oh my god. I'm gonna use a key to misdirect it back to her. I don't think you can No, no I'm gonna misdirect it into my bag. <laughs> Alki, what are you doing? I'm dealing with this. You want light? We're gonna get light. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You know we can't fight her. The uh, creature is sucked into the bag. <laughs> okay, now we just need to find her sister. <laughs> Wait, is she gone now? Yeah. <laughs> I go into the house. Guys, get ready. She might be coming out of this bag. I'm looking for a sister. The, um, suddenly the, uh, creature erupts back out of the bag. Um, and she, uh, what does she do? Her eyes flash. Very well. You're all dead. Uh, can we make a deal? <laughs> Just kill him and we'll be okay. I'm alright with that. It's not how this works. It is. <laughs> You're the one who pissed her off. The Orin uh, turns her gaze on Alki. I don't make look at her. <laughs> Alright. So she's looking at you. You are no longer able to look at her. Yep, I'm not Very looking at her. Safe. Yep. All right. What would you like to do? I'm running away. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Fuck phase. <laughs> Did I just not finish the... What is her speed? Why do I not have numbers on this? <sighs> And stay out, you fucker. If I, I don't see... fall, I don't fall for your ugly image. Oh God! <laughs> I step back. I whisper to Domer. Uh, what do we do? <laughs> the uh, you're the, you're the fey guy. He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> the beauty shrieks. Con saves for everyone. Oh no. You do, uh, I'm not looking at. Two people voice. have a uh, plus two. All right. I have plus two too. All right. Uh, missing heavy and okay. Give me a sec. I rolled con, not my con save. I mean, I'll allow it, but we're all oh, dead. Gene... Gene, you didn't do a con save either. I don't have anything to con save. It's the same rule. Oh, okay. Alright, uh, Gene and Alki are permanently deaf. Yes. I don't even have eardrums, do I? You, whatever mechanism you hear with is no longer functioning. I say miss. Yes. Uh, can I ask another favor from you? Certainly, uh, weighing on favors here. <laughs> Fine. Yes. What? Uh, what was that you just did to my friends? And can you fix it? I don't think I want to. Well, well the girl's I'm, I'm somewhat pretty. You. Hold on, hold on. She walks over to Jean. There, there. It's okay. She reaches out her hands to either side of Jean's head. When she takes them away, Jean can hear again. Oh. I can hear. It's 
a miracle. That's good. Uh, now, what do I owe you for that favor? Thanks for the host, my guy. Next time you see the dwarf, cut something off him. Okay. I'll fucking help you. <laughs> Which direction is your sister that we have to go kill? My sister is to the north, but be careful. Um, my children are playing in the fields. Um, tell you what, I'll send you a guide. Quiselpa! Quiselpa! A flying fairy materializes out of a tree. Yes, my mistress? Help these outsiders. They're going to kill my sister. Oh, wonderful! Thank you, outsiders. I'm Quiselpa. I'm a minor fairy serving under my lady the day, Luren. I'd be happy to help you navigate the Fey Woods. That sounds good. Yep. First, we gotta settle one debt first. Let's go find Alki real quick. That creature is not to be allowed into my domain. I was just gonna go cut something off for you. Bring it back for oh. you. Ha, I'd appreciate that. I'll go hold him. Yeah, we'll, we'll be right back. Is he in the area? Yeah. Hey, Alki? Hey guys, can't fucking hear! <laughs> the fuck are you guys doing? Hey, I'm gonna hey. go behind him. Yeah. I'm gonna cough one of his fingers. No, 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 no. No. Hold him. <laughs> I'm gonna use, uh... They're gonna have to use something to hold me, right? They're gonna try they, to. They, you don't know what we're doing. I kinda can see you guys grouping up on me. Natsu just wants to give you a hug. <laughs> oh god. Uh, do I make a strength save? Uh, what are you gonna- what are you trying to do? Grab the Cut off his sword. fucking berries. <laughs> Alright, you're doing grappling, and that's fun, because I've never had to deal with grappling before. Give me one- yep. Oh my god. You know I'm gonna use a key point, and you guys are gonna fucking hit each other. <laughs> and I'm gonna if run away. Well, you're not being attacked yet, so... I don't think you can- I don't think you can... Uh... Redirect a drunken attack. Although I do like the idea of like you're just gonna get them to grab each other. <laughs> In question, since he's death and doesn't know it's coming, can I, I get can advantage? Got... Um, I'd say no. There's, it's not like there's usually an audible component to someone attacking. He can see you. Uh, okay, so it's when you take the attack action and attack with a light melee. Or no, that's the wrong one. When you want to grab a creature, or wrestle with it. You can use the attack action to make a special melee attack, a grapple. So you get the um so it actually is an attack which means aki can redirect it if you miss oh boy. uh you try to seize the target by making a grapple check you make a strength athletics check contested by the target's strength or athletics or dexterity acrobatics check so you're going to use the athletics check and alki you're gonna i'm presumably you'd want to use acrobatic, acrobatic yes all right make your check <laughs> all right you evade um, I'm gonna use a key point and have him not to do it the heavy. And right, I'm gonna run away. Not, not, so you are now grappling heavy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make an opportunity attack when he runs away to grapple him again. Uh, you can't, your hands you are can. full. You're, yeah, you don't have. You're you're busy holding heavy. I'm running through the forest. Fuck you guys! <laughs> oh, as much as I love the uh, sweet embrace there, Natsu. Let's. Just go back and just get this shit. All right, he's running around the forest. He'll eventually die. Or shall we continue? Yeah. yeah. As you return, you notice uh, Jean is has her hand on the uh, the Aloran's breast. I'm sure Hello? they're very nice. Why? Is everything all good? Citra, what's going on? I don't know. Thaloran turns to Jean. Would you like to have some fun, my dear? 
<laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, good thing this stream is 18 plus. I was thinking about making it teen, but nope, not this time. Um, hmm. the Oren's holding Jean closely. <laughs> I mean, you can just say that. <laughs> oh, she's not talking. <laughs> I mean, is that a thing you're actually doing? Yeah. All right. Uh, the Oren pulls Jean uh, closely up to the, um, closely up to her. Jean holds her head against the Oren's chest and then pulls out her knife and stabs the Oren in the stomach. Oh my God. Roll initiative. Fucking damn it. <laughs> Fuck. Well. It's gonna be a good, uh, nice, nice party as it lasts. Yeah. Um, okay, so everyone's on here. We don't need Alki anymore. I'm in the forest. I'm still watching. Oh no. But now we gotta fight a fairy too. Alright, so Gene, I guess you're making a sneak attack probably. You wow. don't do any damage. But she's fucking naked. How do I not do any damage? I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you probably hit her, but didn't do damage. She attempts to slap you, but misses. Uh, she attempts to slap you with her other hand and misses. Um, and I guess we'll just go in initiative order. Jin? Oh god. You miss. Does it count as not flanking? To. I'm gonna challenge <laughs> um, it. She's not flanking. Damn. I'm gonna challenge divinity. Okay. Uh, all fake creatures within 30 feet of me have to make a wisdom saving throw. What's the uh, what's the DC? Uh, I'm checking that now. Uh oh, thirteen. All right, so she made it. Did I think Jean just uh, what about the Larry? Her own character. Uh, the fairy is. What happens if you if it fails? It is turned and for a minute and it runs away. All right, the fairy runs away. Dolmir. Oh, man. I'm going to use my warp. You connect on the OLR and Citra. Um, Uh, I'm going to run here and then cast Blur on myself. Am I completely out of this fight? Um, you can come back in. Uh, let's put you there and let's give you one turn to come back in. Although, a reminder, if you look at her, you do have to make a save. Yeah, I'm not going to look at her, though. Okay. Alright, so you've got Blur. Alright. Uh, the Aluren turns her gaze on Heavy. Or, no, actually, she doesn't. Sorry. She just slaps Jane again. All right, so the second one should connect. Ooh. 
We're not seeing damage, by the way. Oh, fuck. I didn't... Right, I forgot I made her rolls to the GM. Uh, yeah. It's, um... The first one messes, second one connects. Uh, not to you're up. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna cast a spell, show the faith on uh, the redhead. In range. Sure. Plus. That's a bonus action, and then I'm gonna attack uh, the faith. Having fun? Yeah, I'm Do showing I that I had advantage. Alright, uh, first attack misses. Second attack connects. I'm a divine smite. So an extra four. Uh, against undeads or fiends? Uh, it's against everything. I mean, okay. Um, give me a second to check that. It's an extra D8 against Undeads and Fiends, but it's oh, only 2D8. Gotcha. Mm. Okay. Dolmir. Oh, what to do? You got flanking. Uh, you missed both times. Fuck. Okay, you are there, and you can move. Heavy, make some noise. I yell. <laughs> Domir, make some noise. Okay. Yelling loud noises. I, I feel the vibration with my eyes closed. I come running out, and I fist a fury. Jump over, jump on Domir, and jump over and fist. Sure. Three attacks. Or four for you, actually. Yeah. I, I say I'm still confused. Why didn't we just call Killer Sister? Two connect. Uh, third one misses. Fourth one misses. <laughs> What's M-I-H? Citra. Making it hard. Um, I'm, I'm still gonna... looking at the ground. I'm not looking at her. I'm going to sure. disengage and stand over here. And that's it. Okay. Oh, did I feel like any of that damage went through that it, when, I, when I hit her? The um, the Aluren turns to uh to Chris and uh conduct shines her gaze. Make a charisma. Uh, sorry, you not to make a charisma save. Plus two. Sure, you're unaffected. That's it. You're up. I'm going to... Is Don't me... look at this ugly wench, guys. I yell. If I, I drop a stink. on her that's a five-foot radius, will it only hit her? Five-foot radius would be five feet from a central point. I'd expect it to hit everyone around it. What if I put it, like, right here? And, like, hit her? Um, so right here, you said? Yeah, in the corner we hit her, right? Yep, think so. Burn All the right. fucking house down. Um. Ugh, God. There is a safe. Uh. 
Oh, I guess it doesn't go off right now. It's when she activates. All right. I don't know. Um, I've got Moonbeam up. Dolmir, you're up. Did Jean go? Did I skip over Jean? I think so. I think she's supposed oh, to go she Oh, she deleted her token. That's what happened. Okay, yeah, she's supposed to do a four Natsu. So, Dean, you're up. I laugh until I have a good year run. Say it, say it again? <laughs> I laugh and tell everybody to run. <laughs> we already started this. We're not going to run. She's going to use Fireball. Bet. I disengage. And sprint this way. Alright. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use a key point in attacker and then disengage. Um, let me. I, I'm trying to figure out exactly what you're doing there because normally you'd. Oh yeah, you're using your. Yeah. So you're using fist of flurry to get the bonus. Set. Okay, yes, so cool. You get your four attacks. Yep. Okay, so I did that. So one, two, three. First one connects, mm -hmm. second one connects, third one messes, fourth one messes. And then I'm going to disengage behind the gate. Yep. Citra? Uh, I book it over here. Dash action? Uh, actually, no, I think that's six. One, two. Yep, you can get six. You'll be on top of Dolmere. Yep. And, um,. If Jean casts Fireball, I'm going to Lightning Bolt her. Not Jean, but the uh, Alora. All right. Kim K, we're going to Lightning Bolt Kim K. Yeah. Uh, she needs to make a saving throw. Sure. Um, so that is Sir's turn, con save. He has something on his nose, Jules. A mark? Bucky? Does right, she take half up? damage? Uh, oh. So it says 2d10 oh, on a failed save. <laughs> have have <laughs> as much damage on successful, so 1d10. <laughs> Poor boy. So, 9? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought he hit his nose. She slaps Jane. <sighs> Ouch. Jane goes unconscious. Oh my god. She slaps uh, Chris. She misses. Jane, death save. One success. Natsu? We gotta save her. I'm gonna grab Jean, pick her up. As my action, I'm gonna do lay on hands for 35, and then I'm gonna run the hell out. Um, okay, so I would say I roll picking up Jean is gonna be your action. Oh, okay. Then I will run the hell out with her. Alright. Uh, I won't provoke. So attack of opportunity from the Aloran on the way out. Should miss. I think you got better AC than that. Yes. Thank hey. god you fucking missed. Got uh, six squares. Two, three, four, five, six. So you should be right here. And I'm holding Jean. You are. Get the fuck out of here. Dolmir. <laughs> I'm going to move right there. All right, is anyone doing anything that does not involve no, getting, getting away from the rest of the Yes, yeah. I'm healing Jean. 
Okay, Gene, there's no way you can possibly fail three death saves between now and then. So you guys are all gone. The Aluren's following you, but you're moving fast enough. Um, so you, you've walked away. So we're going to go kill our sister or what? No, I think we're fucking getting out of this forest. I think we fucked that up, so... Yeah. There's a way we can fix this. No, there's not. We just gotta give her bits of you. Nah, I think that's pretty that's much pretty gone. Right. You can't hear her, Rocky. You're permanently deaf. I'm pretty sure, after all that shit, there's no save. It certainly seems unlikely. I mean... Natsu, you're more than welcome to go in there and give it a try, but I bet you money, she gon' Yeah, she might just kill you. I'm gonna try to go smooth things over if you guys agree no. not to kill her. No. <laughs> I'm hand singling no. Let's Is get the just... fuck out. Gene conscious again? Uh, no, guys, no. this is my mission. Uh, yeah. Jin should be back. Oh, how much are you using? What's her maximum HP? Cool? You don't know that. All right. Uh, I mean, if you're gonna just go until she's, I'll done. give her one each turn until she's full. All right. Um. So you you would have to do this thirty eight times. Okay. So use it all thirty five. Jin's awake. And I say hi, and I set her down. What happened? What? What do you mean? You Why'd attacked you stab her. Well, I'm pretty much, pretty sure I know why. Let's just leave it be. I mean, you guys haven't pieced it together. No. Nope. I'll let her tell you then. It's not my business. I have an idea. Her sister can do the same thing that she can probably, right? So let's go to her sister that doesn't know that we attacked her, right? And ask her for the favor and see what she says. Can we at least do that before we leave? No. Please? Pretty sure we got to go through her domain, which we have no idea where it's at to get to her. It's north. We just go kind of west and north and then back east. We can take a vote. I don't care, personally. I know you need to get your thing. But I'll I'll go with what the group decides. I'm fine with it. So is that two uh, don't cares, one yes, and one fine with it, and one no? All right. So Alki votes no. Natsu votes yes. So that's just even. Um, so Heavy says, Heavy's passing, Gene is passing, and Citra was passing? Yeah. Okay, so we have no, there's no conclusion. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's how this fucking group Welcome works. to every poll, welcome to every Dreadhold poll at raid time. Oh yeah. my god. God. Pretty sure I got some dice. Hold on. Let me look at something. I mean, I brought Aki back from the dead. Can we at least do this for me? You killed Heavy, me twice. Did you just say, did you just say uh, dice? You know we're on roll 20, right? In which you can roll any number of dice whenever you want. I was saying like I was in my guy had dice. In game. Oh, okay. Uh, can I get a sip of that whiskey? I can use that for a day like today. No. I've got dice. Alright, so we'll do a fair. I have dice. 
if I roll an even number, we'll go. If I roll an odd number, we we move on. Does that sound fair enough? <sighs> what if it's... we do go? We fight another one of them. Equally absurdly powerful. Let's try not to fight them. Well, what do you think the other sister is going to want us to do? Maybe she's kinder and different. Well, clearly this sister has something against her other sister. Maybe we bring them together as sisters again. Maybe. With some nice persuasion. About these things, so. It's it's Fey stuff. It's complicated and it's not simple. I mean, they might know a way to bring Alki from his wooden state to flesh again. They might be able to cure his deafness, too. Yeah, that, definitely. I'm gonna roll a dice. We'll find out. Does that sound fair? Yeah. So what happens when if you crit it's... roll? You're gonna roll again. <laughs> Confirm the crit. You're gonna so do we both. Definitely don't fucking go. <laughs> so I'm confused. <laughs> you gotta roll again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I did. <laughs> you rolled an even number. Yeah, yeah, crit roll. I was trying to see if I got another one. <laughs> So the higher the number, the the, the more the, the hell no, we're not going to do it. So I think that's a hell no and a hell no. I thought even meant we're going. Yeah. I looked at Dalmir. I'll go. All right, it's decided. Be ready. We're just talking first. If she even remotely hints at fighting her sister, we're, we're leaving. Yes, we don't and have before, to make deals and, about fighting her sister. And before we even talk to her, I'm using helmet telepathy to see if we can figure out what's going on. If she's uh, try not to her. probe too deep, though. Oh, well, no, I got the... Uh, her off. If you fail. Good point. Well, let's at least just fuck, not get killed. And stay away. Yeah, I think. Onward. Are we using the helmet telepathy? Well, we gotta find out where this. We gotta go north. Yeah. Yep. So. Let's go. Let's. Go. Around her. Let's try not to kill her children and piss her off even more. It's probably a good idea. Uh, the children might not be in her control, and they might attack us. Hmm. I think the guide would have helped that, but we didn't have a guide now. You enter the woods. <sighs> Is that fire? <sighs> you see a, um, a flock of swarming fairies um, generating great amounts of light across the world. There's something strange going on with their terrain. Light twists and shifts, and it doesn't seem like it makes any sort of sense. All right, guys, we've probably entered the Feywild, so just be careful and follow each other. We do not want to get lost. Uh, so, apparently you said north, right? So, should we just head? 
I only see three of us. Wait, is this a path or is this a wall? It's a path. Oh, I is it divided in half on purpose? Oh, this has an invisible line on it. Are we all together or no? Yeah, everything everything that is in this map is completely intentional. So there's no there's no confusion here. You are able to freely move across. The idea is that there's all sorts of weird shit going on with magic. So line of sight is like really strange. Uh, but this is a good place to stop for the night as you guys are entering the Feywood. Okay. What the fuck? Uh, I mean, fucking... I didn't expect that to happen. I kind of did. I don't understand what's going on at all. Me either. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want, you can uh, catch us live uh, on these dates here. I will be streaming WoW and Dungeons and & Dragons and whatever else. But Dungeons & Dragons will always be Sunday night uh, from 6.30 to 10 p.m. You can follow me on social media down in these links. And uh, hope to see you on the stream. See you there!